was a good answer. That was a good answer to the game in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Tash was at that game. Was she? Yeah, she was so connected. So connect was it 50 caps for you? Yeah. selection for the clip. Mae wedi gwneud ei benderfyniad a does neb yn gallu dadlegau. Screw fix sprint. A noddy pale droid at S. Pedwarek. Coisa, Irexam. They welcome to Rexam. And he was studying at Guide and Aragon, but he was to Hollywood and Guilio. My ser Hollywood, Arakai Rat, now my funky medal, but he equaled a Kevan. And story Ravedol, a club and a volume, Marubeth Arash and Digwith. And Amanu, Rob Ryan, Velman and Kelly Gallo, and a Cafinia, and my head, you know, my boy, Dick Wheel and Gwilio Dunyon, but your now meal, a map now, ma, you will your team a merched, a team city kip your bank camp or yet, and Adran a gogled. Amanu now and Todd a record on an adorb, Mount Game Domestic and Hamri. I'm a ser of my heavens. He got her, came out with a two score and half this. I'll give her a game and I'll be in Kekona. Rex Sam and I'll be in Kekona. Kenta and I'll be in I Lui. I'm going to keep your bank on for it and a bar and barrage. I'm going to go back to Gordy Heavens. A son, I'm ser. My Tash Harding. Good any heavens. Chris Rats, are you Tash? It's your father. My heavens, Kaltima, and a Kairat. Man, how big are you? Do you credit? Do you think you're going to win? No, so it's Ruin and Gwade. We now meet a bobble and Dodi Gweld Club, um, Wrexham, Manuod. But we dim and, and, and Gwade, but I'm true. So either we, I vote on my equal or him. I vote strong with Kevin Ogwer. I'm man, man, fantastic. I can ride. Welcome to Wrexham. I just see the good old Kevin Club on the Well, good be here, but the need to add a documentary here. It's now Nika called a robber, Ryan. On the end, I just avoid Petha, my new Nunez, or the Arakai, my fantastic. I gweld a team of awards and Kyler Ian Peth are done here now, my own fantastic. Yeah, done a bit. I guess Tim just a team of done and a team can't turn. He well hand and dig with Evans, my own team on special young. Yeah, my just, uh, and, and really that, he, he, he pill droids the no awards and Henry. He called Rubis Villain, he, he, he dangos sit bath of salvance he got in here. I go beat him and he gwells, pop it him in Lano him now. Well, yeah, I'm on dipping all over. I've done a travel, got a cow, see Danny Necky. My mother, I'm a wreck, somebody would have made some of the mamma, the Anish Pub game. My mother, some more, I honey, in a big game, in a big bit of goal, yes. I kick on a to go to my back, da, heavy. And I'm look, I'm going to go for Claren and you spoil your mind and then I'm going back or on the Savage Park. I'm going to give my girl like Alder Cavia. I'm looking just in team law. Could I pop it to all of them all? Do you want to be a good or a team of Melchior? I don't know. Do you want to be a good one? Yeah, it um, doesn't well. I know in a, in a, in a league and thought you could do well. I'm a good one. And I'm for this. He, he, he connects here with the Rexham and the league. Then, oh. Well, who do you think about that? Yeah, I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a good one. So, well, again, I'm not going to be a good one. I'm going to be a good one. And yeah, Rexham is a fantastic one. Uh, the score is great. The guy's goal and a and a garvan man are fantastic. Ah, the man team game are all heavy. Even the guy that they made it in the league are strong. Yeah, now you saw that my old man, the guy who was in a head professional heavy. Now you saw how well I'm a ser. See the man heavy. Well, my, you know, you know, good or bad. The guy who's been in the league, John. 
to Rob, first of all, it's such a huge occasion here. I think if you would have asked anybody in the area a couple of years ago whether they could imagine this, no one would believe that all these people would be gathering here today for this occasion. Well, th these, these women have earned it. They, they played their hearts out I mean, on, on both sides of the pitch. Um, they, they're a, a really great club. Uh, they do nothing but win. And, and as you can see, the people of the town, people of the area really show up for them and people are really excited. I was down at Ross Aylward earlier on in the season and the dream then was to get to the race course and play a game here. But I don't think anyone imagined this today and a trophy lift as well. It's fantastic. It's a really special day. And most importantly, it's a special day for these women. And like I said, they've earned it. And, and the fact that they get to celebrate in front of 10,000 of their uh, fellow townspeople is pretty special. Well, 10,000 today, 10,000 yesterday. You've had an awesome weekend of football as well, haven't you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. And, uh, you know, we're just getting started. Absolutely. And obviously for the men, you know, promotion is in sight now. Touching distance. Yes. Uh, the uh, phrase that I've heard that's my favorite British phrase that I've learned uh, over the last few years is squeaky bum time. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that before. That's, that is a great way to describe exactly what it feels like. We're coming down to the wire. We all feel very, very confident. But you never know. Football is a crazy sport. There's a chance you're going to need a bigger trophy cabinet, Rob. I hope so. I hope so. Really appreciate you coming over to speak to us. Diolch and Thank you. Diolch. Diolch and Appreciate it. Thank you so much. To be more valch for every disgir term, squeaky bum time. Could we thought we didn't come into honey, he deem a dunny on. Dros a rough mosse nesta. The Massini Road or an team of Merced, a Savak Fa, Marini Senator Banker for Ethan and Gogler, and called the Rainy City Nether in Pethan a day, and game I'll Govle Rexam, and Erbin Shan Sawel, a Shiniko Hoydi, Bidhona, and Veu Gadani. The seal are in the Bumfeg or Ebrich, Mahin and the Banol are a club and security that domestic Gadasha worth Nodi, and the Rama Cluster, Sid Gadani, and Rexam and Erbin. Now, Nick Parry and my heavens, well, my Nick Parry, the board, Saul, right? A drouse of another, then so we be good at Katie Sherwood from a Nick Kinigal Pether, the Vedal, Arad Hain, Gairas, of Ridma, sit my head and Kamari. My de board and the Gen Lenev, Delano, will your Gemer and Ladolo, will your Rexam and Calder Javier, and with a Hibe, Kerve de Gumpus Akaima, have you, do we them and cover your Guel Pobol, and Edrich Mor the Squilgar. Ti ag adrw beth nad oedd yn nhw yn ei ddisgwyl. Dyn nhw'n methu coelio beth sy'n digwydd yma. Now then, if you're joining us from America, that was Welsh. But I'm delighted to say there's English language commentary on the entire game. Uh, use the audio selection on click or make sure you're on the English language page on YouTube. I'm delighted to say that former Welsh international Katie Sherwood will be keeping me company. Can you believe what you've walked through and what you've seen, Katie? It's a huge occasion for women's football. You know, it's a historic occasion, a record-breaking crowd in in the women's domestic game, and it's you know showcasing the top two teams in this league. It's a moment they look back on their career and remember they were part of something special. It's incredible to see. Fifty caps. What's the biggest crowd you've played in front of? For Wales, the biggest crowd was Germany um, away in front of twelve thousand. And it's one of those occasions where you try not to get caught up in the moment. You kind of need to strip back the emotion of the game. But it's hard not to when you're not used to this. But they all have to focus on the game. But it's, it's something they'll remember. Look forward to having your company. Dwi'n digwell te lioedd yma. Ma nhw yma i ddathlu. A dan i hyd yn oed yn cael Dafyn i wan. Nolwch chi, Dylan. Nick, a Katie, Jolch, and Vaur, Yawn, Kinney Glowed, Moy Gan Tashman, and Delkinney Glowed, Gan Arfe Olwer, Kin a game of Mar. Rex Ammon and Kate Con Ammon, and Shara and Nicky. Yeah, it's unbelievable, really. You know, the, the whole build up to the game, and, you know, we can't thank the club enough for uh, obviously giving us the opportunity to play our final league fixture here. And the ticket sales have gone, you know, unbelievably well, and it's, it's outstanding, really, for, for this level. Um, you know, but it'll only improve the uh, the coverage of tier two. You know, hopefully going forward. So we're really excited. We've come here to spoil the party, but in the grand scheme of things, it's a massive game for the north, um, and it's to sort of knock on the door to the FAW to say, um, you know, we're doing really well collectively as a north, especially ourselves and, and respectively Clan Didno as well. So um, 
yeah, really looking forward to it and hopefully we do spoil the party. Well, I was over at Ross Aylward where you've played your home games earlier on this season and it became apparent that day that there was a real desire to get the girls playing here at the race course. Did you expect it to happen quite so quickly? Not really. We Obviously, we always dreamed about it. Uh, we obviously had a pre-season friendly fixture here a couple of seasons ago, just after the pandemic in front of 250 fans, and that was that was a great occasion. But obviously now to get the opportunity again to, to come and play a league fixture here is is unbelievable, really, and we're, we're, we're relishing it, really. We're excited. Yeah, well then, did I look like Katie Sherwood when I touched Justin Son? I'm a reckless there, I'm a more good so I'm going to go to the and my higher probably had heavens. Yeah, do you think we've got a game by Katie and Chad? I'm more than a debut vegan, right? I'll probably have a Matthew and Hovio. Um, and my own queer team, I've got a kind of bunch of game pill droid, and the Valenti got for my high pop Bessie, Ogum Bass. Pawb sydd i dod i gwylio, pawb sydd i allan o'r stadiwm, behind the scenes, staff, popau, jyst gorffod mwyn hai, popau sydd i amdano o'r dydd yma. Ti'n gweld ni'n clywed ar ystod efe, ni'n clywed y clichés bod y cae yn teimlo'n fwy o'r stadiwm yn hyn. Mae'n siŵr bod y maint y cae cyffredin, o'i wedi teimlo'n fwy weithio, pawb chi bod o'r lefel hyn? Ie, mae yn. Ti'n gorffod yn teimlo'n fwy, mae'n teimlo bod i di chwarae 90 munud yn yr munud cyntaf, so... Bi llaw nerf gyda'r merched yma, ond mae hwnna'n um, i expected gyda nhw a heddiw. Ond fel rhywun sydd wedi cael llawn profiadau yn pêl-droed, i fi, nice to just gweud, am y dim mynd i'r cyntaf, setlo'r awr, a wedyn sy'n gallu mwyn hair game, cymryd popau sy'n mynd o gwmpas chi. Mae help hefyd, bod yn diannu chi'n gynglair yn barod yeah. am hwnnw i, mwyn o'n help mawr, wrth i weld just y llun i e. Mae'n un... Pawb o bob oedran yma ar y cae ras pnaw ma, mae'n pnawn hanesyddol ac yn garreg filltir arall i gêm y merched yng Nghymru. Mae gymaint wedi newid, mae gymaint dal i newid, ond wrth i'r ein gamu'r cae, ond i draw at ein timau sylwebu, ni wedi gael Nick Parry a Katie Sherwood, mae'n yr emrys gyda ni hefyd gyda Nia Davis. Rhaid o'ch chi'n gyfeillion. Welcome everybody to the race course in Wrexham, the oldest football stadium in the world that plays international football. But that's just part of the story because today is nothing other than a celebration. It's the celebration of the women's game, a celebration of Wrexham's championship but a celebration of the enormous development that's happening at Wrexham Football Club thanks to the owners Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds here to join in the celebration and here joining me 50 caps for Wales Katie Sherwood and um, you'd love to be there wouldn't you? These are the games you want to play in these big occasions. A fantastic crowd to showcase what you're all about, to showcase football up north. And these are the days you want to get your boots back on. Wrexham, of course, in the red. And uh, the players to look out for in the uh, Wrexham side, striker Rosie Hughes, uh, a phenomenal season for her. And in the uh, visiting side, well, we'll keep an eye on Kirsty Corral. Wrexham have three of the league's top four scorers. The only person interrupting the sequence is Corral, who plays 20 for the visitors. Eight points between them. They've played each other twice this season. They've had one win each. But these are the champions as they proudly announce it's her game as well. A celebration of her game. Yep, 
her game is all about championing the women in sport, but um, this is a great occasion, great visibility for women's football, especially in North Wales, and what an amazing crowd to do that in front of. Even the most famous men in the world want a photograph to remember this occasion. It's the second biggest ever attendance for any women's Wales football game to be held here in Wales. And Richard Wright is your referee for this afternoon. And we're good to go. Pumped up, delighted. It sums it up, doesn't it, Katie? Yeah, why wouldn't you be excited for this game? Rosie Hughes, she's a player that we're going to have to keep our eyes on today. 23 goals this season. First touch for Connors Key. Second in the Women's League, just as the men are second in the Men's League. We're underway, and the first touch for Kural, the captain. And an early touch for Del Morgan in the Wrexham goal. Wrexham in red, from left to right. And that gives possession rather cheaply. It's a poor tackle. It's a fantastic run, and there's a, an early chance they overrun at the end, but that was good work by Wild McGregor. Yeah, encouraging start there for Koniski. Sloppy play out the back from Wrexham, just need to settle those nerves. Again, just showing just those nerves. It's a big occasion. It's important that they play the game, they strip away all the emotion from this game. It's, it's difficult when there's a big crowd. We're just getting back to things that's got them in this position in the first place. And the first touch for Rosie Hughes. And uh, there may be some unfamiliar names in these sides, but believe me, people are talking about Rosie Hughes. And that's uh, rather loose by Lovett, the Wrexham number four. Back she comes to... Uh, make the recovery and again it's Wild McGregor 24 for the visitors uh, who's had a determined side start of the game and these by the way are the under 19s there'll be a presentation for them at the end of the game they've also championed their second division first corner kick of the game and uh, in what is, just to remind you, the second tier of uh, women's football in Wales, the Janeiro North League. And uh, McElhenney always chatting. Ryan Reynolds always staring, always looking. First corner kick then for Connors Key. taken by Andrews that's a cheeky effort it hit the bar what an effort by Corral well we said didn't we uh, pre-match Kirsty Corral she will be the player to watch this, uh, this afternoon and that's an important interception it gives Bailey the chance to clear up and Bailey finds Hamer and Hamer invites the chase by Harley, but uh, what a cheeky effort. But uh, Corral is just full of confidence. It just goes to show that even though this is a big occasion for Wrexham, you know, they're, they're the home team, Con is key, then they're here to upset the party. That's a good point, actually. And um, although all the talk has been about Wrexham, of course, or be they are the champions, but Con key have beaten them once. Already, let's have a look at the... Well, what an effort. That's a very creative effort there, Bom Corral. She's very dangerous on set pieces. She's a big presence. Just the woodwork stopping her. Hughes. Hughes finds Lightfoot. 
right foot. Love it. Up towards light foot again. Well, these are the standout teams in the uh, Ganero North. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And some of their results have been quite astonishing as uh, Wrexham win a free kick in a promising situation. It's a chance here for Wrexham to put Connors Key under pressure. First set piece. And of course, they'll be aiming for Rosie Hughes. 23 goals this season. And it's Wrexham's first real visit. Oh, it's gone in all the way. All the way, the goalkeeper has been hopelessly deceived. That really should not have gone in, but it has. And that'll be a big disappointment to Connors Key. The what a first real attack, and Wrexham take the lead in the first five minutes. Their first strike on goal. I was going to say, test the goalkeeper. First set piece, test the goalkeeper. And that's definitely a strike. She definitely meant to do that. Great start for Wrexham. Emphatic strike. And Dickens has the goal. There's no doubt about it. Grace Murphy is going to be disappointed in the Connors Key goal. It was a long way out. It was a long way out, but she just didn't move her feet quick enough to get any height. And if it can come against the run of play in just five minutes, well, it certainly did. It's a great way to settle the nerves, isn't it? Big crowd here, early goal, settle your nerves. Yep, and Wrexham, they looked nervous, didn't they, to begin with? And Connors Key looked as if they were, could take advantage. Yeah, definitely. I, I think Connors Key probably got a bit of a point to prove here. You know, the talk has all been about Wrexham, but you have to give it to Connors Key. They've had a great run in the league this season. Corral. And uh, you just get the feeling already with just six minutes played. This could be a game full of chances, particularly if mistakes like that are made. Kylie Jones picks up in midfield. And... Uh, They're just sloppy in possession out of the back at the moment. Their distribution, they're just not very decisive. Should, like, drive out with the ball, but they're not finding feet. And Connors Kia are, are reading that. They just haven't capitalised on it yet. Can you recall the first game you played in front of an unusually large crowd? I'm just wondering what sort of experience this is for the players. I think my first experience was that game against Germany. You know, we've had average crowds playing playing for Wales and, and club football. We, there was nothing anything like this. Well, we will try and uh, keep you in line, in tune with the atmosphere and uh, that'll be Welcome done with the help of Nicky John. Welcome back, Sue Ann Williams, Tanelad and Team Dan Bethan and Bum, thank you, Mark Sam. Sue Ann, a bit like a perfect nothing of them coming through here, a good ball, Nada. No, no, I'm going to go to the other side of the ground. Mae clywed y stadiwm yma yn anhygoel ar y funud. A, yeah. Cychwyn anhygoel yw'r Rexon, go beth o'n i'n gallu cario mai yn trygydol y gêm. Ti'n cyfeirio at y sôn, nes ti'n sgrechu ad lawr yng Nghrylinus ti fel ath y fel na i'r fawn. Pa mae'r bwys i godd cael cychwyn fel na i'r gêm pnaw yma? Eh, uh, wel, dwi'n gallu deud i gychwyn bod y merched yma yn nervus. Um, so, mae cael un gôl, sgal y hyder, a yn sydd ben dylai bod nhw'n gallu teimlo fwy gyffordus ar y cae a gobeithio dros drwy gydol y gêm na'n gael yn well ac yn well so ie, yeah, rili pwysig a o'n i'n byzing Wel, mae'r achlysur ar Benny hi yn pnawma yn ein arbennig a yr ffaith bod ti rwan yn edrych chi fyny dyma'r cam nesa i ti ac i'r merched yma ma'n wych yn dod e Ie, yn dod e Mae gweld yr um, support ma'n nhw'n gael fel ti'n merched yma rwan a gwybod bod hyn yn rhywbeth a drai i gael yn fian mae'n anhygol a dwi'n edrych ymwaith y dyfodol really. Diolch i ti siwa yn y treo pnaw ma? Ie, diolch Thanks to Sue Ann Hughes from the uh, under-19 squad and uh, to summarise what she was saying as the shot comes in and is tipped away 
Well done, Morgan in the goal. Good effort, Wild McGregor for Koniski. Good response from the visitors. And um, Siwan was simply saying how that goal may have settled the Wrexham nerves. Well, it certainly not dampened the uh, the um, anxiety of Koniski to do well in this game. What a save! That's a great save. Um, from the goalkeeper Morgan but again a set piece not dealt with properly they haven't cleared their lines in comes the corner keeper stays on the line oh that's good play it's been kept alive again and it's put in deservedly you have to say by Harvey and Harvey was accurate she saw the opportunity keeper had come keeper had lost it but she had a lot to do and Connors Key, a level. I think we it's been coming. A well-deserved goal from a set piece. Again, Wrexham, they don't clear their lines. They have an opportunity. You know, Route 1 put the ball at the other end. And you've got to give it to us. It's a great finish. Great technique there. Picking up the scraps. The goalkeeper didn't deal with it. And a lovely low finish into the corner. Well, they came for entertainment, and entertainment they are having. One end of the pitch to the other, but you have to give it to the visitors. The game has been played more in the Wrexham half than the visiting half. Good play by Davis. Excellent piece of skill. Looks for Hughes, and Murphy is alert and collects. But um, that's a lively ten minutes. It is, but that's what we want to see. We want to see an end-to-end -end game. Great piece of skill there to get herself out of trouble and looking for Ro uh, Rosie Hughes straight away with that direct ball. Uh, we are seeing mistakes, there's no doubt about that. That's helping the open play. And the keeper had to come. The offside flag was raised. And again, it was uh, Harley... I think sometimes when you change venues as well, change pitches, you're playing on a different pitch. Sometimes your distances between the centre halves and the full backs, you're not used to playing on this on this pitch. And I think that's what's happening at the moment. The gaps between the centre backs and the full backs are too big. And Connors Key are, are picking up on poor passes and they're they're capitalising on that. And both teams, it has to be said are responding to the other side scoring. Connors Key responded well to Wrexham scoring and Wrexham are on the front foot since they've conceded the equalising goal. Good header out by Levitt. In again by Phoebe Davis who shows the physical side of a game. We've seen the skill from her. Lovely play by Hamer, really did well there to keep possession and looks for Wild McGregor and uh, Erin Lovett, the number four for Exxon has played soundly in defence so far, she's worked hard out there I think going back to previous what I said, Connors Key, they've been really unlucky this season, you know, they've, they've only lost one game and drawn a game and that's been the decider in, in who win, who've won the title. So they're not going to come here and just accept that Wrexham are the, the champions. They're going to come here. They want to showcase what they can do. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Any other season, they'd be champions, wouldn't they? That's excellent work by Rosie Hughes as she finds light foot. <laughs> Firm defending. They've had a great partnership this season, Lightfoot and Rosie Hughes. Lots of goals between them. Lightfoot coming up from the under-19 ranks. No corner! No corner! Corral. You can see the strength of Corral, not just a scorer. And that's an overhit, and uh, Katie Sharp is sharp enough to collect that. Out to Lil Jones. Good 
Corral again. Uh, over hit, the idea was good again. She is happy to put Wild McGregor and the scorer of the Koniski goal, Harvey, to task. She asks them to make the runs, but she has to hit the ball a little bit better. You can see most of their play already from Wrexham is down this right-hand side. They're looking to get Davis in, and they're looking for that direct ball straight away over the top. But look at this crowd. This is phenomenal. Never in my wildest dreams I thought I'd see this in a domestic game. Never mind, you know, we've seen big crowd for the international games, but for domestic football, this is incredible. Well, it is, in fact, the highest ever crowd for any FA managed game here in Wales, men or women, all ages, and it's all to do with inspiring, and it's working. It is, you know, it just shows the first there is for women's football. You know, we've seen a lot of the games in the south for the, for the women's games, but, you know, it's important that it's showcased in the north as well. Nice play by Lightfoot, nice skill, and she's got the pace to get away now then. Good defending, but Lightfoot still there. She tries to pull it back towards Mackenzie. Clear towards Corral. She acknowledges her error. Davis. Bailey. Out towards Wal McGregor. For the lovely play again. Look at this piece of skill. Oh, she's such a creative player. She's very direct. She wants the ball to her feet. She wants to take players on. Like I said, she's a product of the under-19 team, who's, again, had great success this season. Former Liverpool Academy player. And a really um, great prospect for Wrexham. Davis. Unlucky. Phoebe Davis. 23 years of age. Perry Jones, again, it's Lover to intercept, and Lovett finds McKenzie. Hughes, good first touch, takes it away from Corral, and again looks for Lightfoot and as you were suggesting Katie those two they clearly understand each other it's Lightfoot ahead now waiting for this ball Hughes becomes creator Lightfoot wanted to strike and be scorer and they do understand each other they do that's great play there from Rosie Hughes not only does she score goals but she assists as well she's happy to get the ball run up run up defenders you know, 2.4 goal average per game. That's that's pretty impressive. Corral. Little bit of space, Corral. She can strike from far. There's a chance here. Goalkeeper does really, really well. And Del Morgan's had a very, very good 18 minutes in this game. She's furious there, the goalkeeper. Again, too easy. Corral is the player who's making things tick. Too easy there, plenty of space, but the keeper does really, really well. Off a line, really quick there. Well won. And once again, we'll keep in touch with the atmosphere and uh, we'll join Nicky John again. I'm here with Ryan from Munnethy Start Football Club. Ryan, I know you've brought over 100 down here to get today to watch the game. What a special occasion it is and how is everyone enjoying it so far? Oh, they're loving it. Um, it's just something for these the girls to all look at to see. So they, obviously, they all play football themselves and for years to come, they, they could be out on the pitch. Well, exactly. That's the message, isn't it? And what an important message it is. Perhaps a message that we didn't think we'd be passing on to our girls only a short period ago. Yeah, 100%, yeah. And we see that they put the work in week in, week out to eventually, hopefully, get to this level. Lydia, I don't know if you're afraid to see if I can't Yeah, 
I think the award for the best dress in the stadium has to go over here. Tell me about this outfit, please. Well, I had this dragon hat a few years ago and I thought it's got to come out of the moths. So I dragged it out because I haven't been able to come to the match for a long while because I haven't got a season ticket or we can't get any more season tickets until the stands, new stands. But, and I've got this scarf that's quite old and I've got my gin jacket here. Your uh, gin jacket and the gin in the handbag as well, is it? Uh, no, I, uh, this, is, uh, this is from two years or so ago. And I just love Wrexham, so I had to come to the women and I really appreciate how hard they have to work. And uh, I just love Wrexham. Oh, it's the best ever. Oh, that's lovely. Diane. Enjoy this afternoon and thank you for chatting to us, you're lovely. Diane, <laughs> come right. Thanks, uh, Nikki. That's a dragon that Wales is very proud of, if I may say so, but what she. The point she makes about the season ticket, it is absolutely insane. 10,000 plus here yesterday for the men's game. The biggest ever crowd this season. And people are screaming for season tickets. Uh, they're simply not available and won't be until the new stand is built. Such is the interest, the phenomenal interest in the game here. But uh, we saw them there all ages and it's what this is all about. Yeah, absolutely. It's not just a game for girls to be here. There's young boys, there's the older generation who all want to be a part of this club and this community. And what a good problem to have that they haven't got enough season tickets. That's lost by Strap. Hughes, still a nice touch. Was it back towards Hughes? Not accurate enough. And it's far too easy for Grace Murphy. And Murphy... Upfield. Murphy, not the usual keeper for... Koneski, she's only played one game and one game as substitute, only conceded one goal before today in the one game. Strap plays safe. Again, it's like that who's, who's in the action, isn't it? Linking her again with Hughes. Happy to take it first time in her left foot, but too too easy for the keeper. That's a Wrexham throw despite the protests. But uh, yep, they've met twice this season already. Wrexham won the league game by three goals to one. But in the North East Wales Cup, it was a win for Nomad again. It's Sullivan. She claims a corner and uh, she has her wish. Yep, they played in the Cup game. And it was a, a win on penalties for Nomads in that one. So one win each. And to make your point, Katie, the boy's enjoying as well. Yeah, you know, I have a seven-year-old boy and um, he loves all forms of football. He watches the women's football. In comes the corner. That's a difficult one. Cleared off the line by Corral. Really, really well cleared by the captain. An essential piece of defending there. Otherwise, the corner would have gone straight in. And again, Nomad simply want to turn defence into attack but good, good defensive work there. Great delivery putting oh. the ball right on the goalkeeper but again, what fantastic defending putting her head in clearing Ooh. off the line Corral again, working hard in both boxes and, and she did that, it came at her, she probably expected the keeper to take it, she had to react very quickly Yeah, you, you have to anticipate that the keeper's going to make a mistake there some could say right place, right time, but she's anticipated that. Midway through the first half, and uh, 
as anticipated, a close encounter, Hughes, what a run, Hughes, what a goal this will be, excellent defending there by Harvey, she saw the danger, she came across, but that's what Rosie Hughes is all about. That is exactly what she's about, able to move the ball with both feet, running at defenders, they can't get nearer, great, great attack in play. And uh, good period of pressure now from Wrexham. Yep, perhaps a little bit more anxious than he had anticipated being, but uh, as I say, any other season and uh, Koniski would have been champions. Yeah, and that's the fine margins in the game, isn't it? You expect if you only lose one game in a season, then... You know, you're still going to be pushing for the title race, but unfortunately they lost to Wrexham, so that, that was a, you know, a big loss for them. Yep. And also a draw as well, so... But, you know, Wrexham, they actually had a downfall last season. They lost on the final day of the season, so... Well, while we have this injury, another opportunity to join Nicky John. Dear Mayler, I know, ladies, I've just come and gate-crashed your, your little gathering here this afternoon. I know you usually sit at the far end over there watching the men. How are you enjoying this end and watching the women today? It's been very good so far, hasn't yeah. it? We've seen some good football from the ladies. <laughs> um, <laughs> what about the whole, you know, the fact that there's 9,000 tickets gone today, 10,000 and more gone yesterday for the men's game. What does that do for the area? It's been really good, I think, for Wrexham as a whole, having so many people interested in both, you know, the men's game and the ladies' game today. It's, you know, it's trying to spotlight on Wrexham itself as well as the actual football side of things. And the small matter as well that we've got Rob and Ryan here again today. I mean, their presence is just overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's amazing. I, I don't think this would have happened today if it wasn't for them, really. I think what they've done for the area is amazing. And it is quite emotional seeing so many women on the pitch today, like in front of such a big crowd, whereas they're normally probably playing in front of a lot smaller crowds. And seeing them come out today was quite emotional. And I've not been to a female game before, but even I felt quite choked seeing it. So, Yeah, definitely. All these, all these young children taking part, there's a vision now that this is something that they could have in the future as well. And that's a very special thing, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I, I, it's just amazing. It's great. Yeah, I love it. Well, girls, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Deal, come Deal. Thank you, Nikki. Now, um, we have uh, Premier League presence here. Rob Lee um, observing and enjoying and perhaps being as concerned as everybody else is at the fact that the Koniski captain is still receiving treatment. It's a head injury. They're going to take their time about, about this, but it, it would be a major loss as we see the goals again. So early goal there, direct. But the, for me, Braxton would be so disappointed with this because they had opportunities to clear their lines. Scrappy in defence, but you have to give credit to Connors Key picking the ball up and finishing. Clinical. Well, personally, I hope she carries on because she's been quite excellent in this game. And she's key to Connors Key in both boxes, her work rates. Be great to see her come back onto the pitch. Look at this. Subs for a second tier women's team being asked to sign autographs. It, it, it's just beyond, isn't it? Such is the interest. And, you know, this is what it's about. It's about inspiring the next generation. When I was growing up, I didn't have any female role models. My role models were male footballers. So the fact that young girls now see that this actually is a career they can pursue, not just on the pitch, you know, coaching roles, refereeing, in the media, all of these roles that females can have within football is visible, they can see it, they can be it. Koniski currently playing with 10. No sign yet of the uh, skipper having returned and no doubt will be receiving further attention because of that head knock. Um, 
but it remains as we approach the half hour mark within a minute or so one goal each nice touch by Pritchard collected by Bailey and uh, there are at times aimless passes there are at times indicators why we are watching second tier but they've provided excitement there's no doubt about that yeah it's a great game, game for the neutral isn't it both teams attacking being direct but I think yeah going back to what you're saying just that little bit of quality in possession that composure you haven't always got to look wrong can they recycle the ball play back to defence instead of always looking for that long pass or that aimless pass for a player to run on to wasn't that just a delightful image um, it was a raffle prize for the youngest member of this very large crowd perhaps we've just seen the winner still no sign yes good to see Corral back on the pitch and then she goes to make the point she really is head and shoulders isn't she above well the majority of the players on the field that's a foul get away by Phoebe Davis yeah but again she's in the thick of the action lovely turn there to get away from the defender and a cynical foul to stop her from getting up the line yep again Davis not a regular starter in the Wrexham side but she's played with firmness it has to be said in this first half hour just a little bit too firm there and of course it's the captain to take the kick she's at the root of so much from this side also there with her is Hamer Corral. and again bad defending and there was half a chance there and it's the errors it's the errors that tend to create the chances in this game yeah there's just no one commanding the defensive box you just want someone to take control of the box come and win the header get your foot through the ball but the moment Wrexham haven't haven't had that person to do that well just to remind you Tuesday night Wales against Latvia live free on S4C program starts on Tuesday night at 25 past 7 after after that uh, astonishing result in split last night I'll come to that in a moment Corral on her way and you'd seem to say there's always a chance when she's on the charge and uh, Wild McGregor wins the corner kick good defense Another opportunity here for Connors Key to put the ball in the box. Cause mayhem again. And the corner kick to be taken by Tamara Hamer. And uh, another opportunity to cause chaos because what tends to happen in this game, high balls into the mix, if they arrive, have not been defended too well. I'll come back to last night's game in a moment, Katie, but let's just uh, wait for this from Megan Andrews. But, uh, what did you make? Were you, had you given up? Uh, well, before that, we'll pop back and join Nicky John again. Diach Mailer, Johnny Hassel, the NPL, or Stefan on St. Cattle Company, we had in a bread. Johnny, it's a little bit of a different day out for you this afternoon, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit less stressful. Um, come here for a bit of a day out with my daughter, yeah, and a little bit of a franticness of yesterday. It was a nice change to come and watch a bit of ladies' football. Well, it's, we were just speaking before they came to us about the incredible attendance here this afternoon and actually what that does to the area. It's fantastic to see, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. Like I said, I thought five or 6,000 was going to be good and then... We woke up today and it was like 9,000. It's unbelievable, really. It's great support for the, the community in the area and the, the, the publicity for the women's games. And just a quick mention as well, on a personal note, you had a good day at the office yesterday afternoon. Uh, yeah, it was a very good day. Um, our fans were brilliant. Uh, the play is exceptional and, yeah, really enjoyed it. And is Emily enjoying herself over here, enjoying your day out with, <laughs> with afternoon out with Dad? 
<laughs> That's the most you're going to get out of it today, I think. <laughs> Great. Enjoy, guys. Thank you, thank you very much. They never talk when you want them to talk, do they? And they'll always talk when you don't want them to talk. But, uh, yeah, excellent result for Hollywood yesterday as we see another corner. And uh, good defending there. Again, they're, they're putting the, the, the ball right on the goalkeeper. They've got Rosie Hughes right on the goalkeeper as well, but they're putting the keeper under pressure on those set pieces. Yeah, and they're good deliveries, aren't they? Yeah. Right under the bar. Yeah, right in the bar, but the keeper did really, really well there. That would be, be great for their confidence. Approaching the last 10 minutes, and uh, contrary to the hype, and of course the hype was all about Wrexham, Connors Key have shown again why they've been head to head this season. Lightfoot again looking for Hughes. Hughes, little bit of the turn of pace there, takes it away. She's determined, she's strong. Hughes, well stopped again. And the ball lands at the feet of Strap. Strap looks for Harley. That's a foul, and there's a yellow card, first yellow card of the game. <laughs> and I think the perceived view is that that was a bit harsh. There's uh, Katie Sharp in the referee's view, a little bit too sharp. Yeah, I did think that was, that was a little bit harsh on Katie Sharp. Again, end-to-end -end stuff. Not much in that at all. Two players coming together. I think that, that she'd be disappointed with that yellow card. But what would they do without Kirsty Corral? She is at the root of everything, isn't she? You almost want her in the box, though. I'd have her in the box. Yep, that's the price they pay. But she can put good deliveries in. Now that's a strap at the second attempt, getting that away. And again, yet another club. The Boris Park Club at the moment they're seeing oh good play again. And that's another corner kick. And they've had their share of corner kicks both sides. I'd like to see how many um her, her running distance already, Katie Corral, because she seems to be everywhere. again but as you were saying she's not in the box and we go back to the early overhead kick that scissors kick but it's a good delivery in and again Morgan does well the danger still not cleared and it's sharp in the end can't get the ball over the line but Morgan in the Wrexham goal you have to say has had an excellent first half yeah she's been great really commanding her area Again, another opportunity for Connors Key to put the ball in, but that's well played by the keeper. And whenever you feel one side is in the ascendancy, the other side comes back. It's very end to end, isn't it? Very end to end. Well, they'll be really upset about that yellow card, won't they? Yeah, I'm not sure what the referee saw there. It was just two, two bodies coming together. Well, they still love you, Katie. Yellow, shot, yellow card or not, 11 games, one goal this season for her. Look at Corral again. She's again a little bit fortunate perhaps to uh, win that free kick, but it's a little bit of breathing sp space for Connors Key. Yeah, she just uses her strength, she uses her body well. She can feel the defender on her back experienced player there Kenzie well if you're looking for a standout player in the first half obviously we're looking at one there 
the Kongs key captain. You'd be looking also, wouldn't you, towards Del Morgan in the uh, Wrexham goal. And as a starting point, you'd probably say Rosie Hughes would be the star on the pitch. But um, she's had her moments. That was tough. And they've both felt that. And they both stay down. And it's good to see Amy Hopkinson getting up. And in fact, it's the uh, Wrexham player. It's uh, Rebecca Pritchard who stayed down. I think she's going to be OK. Yeah, I don't think there was actually much contact. Sometimes just nice to sit and watch them. They are loving the ride, aren't they? Jones. A little bit of hesitancy out in the end by Lovett. Kural again. knew what she was trying to do no corner <laughs> again Lightfoot Hughes offering with Hughes was the defender Noel Mooney chief executive of course of the Welsh FA and uh, in fairness to him he gets everywhere watches football at all levels he does he was actually at the the Cardiff City Cardiff Met Cup final two weekends ago and it's great to see him there supporting Wales football at all levels Steve Williams, the president, with him, and uh, I wonder if they're texting each other. You know, it's it's great to see because it's not just about growing the game at the top at the end. You know, it's not just about the men's team; it's about growing the game all over Wales. So, seeing their support here, that's great for women's football. Yep, and it really is one of his missions, isn't it, to uh, influence grassroots football. And here we have it. Now there's a foul there conceded by Phoebe Davis, and that brings to an end what would have been a promising opportunity for Wrexham. Kick to be taken by Harvey. There's definitely, definitely no level loss between these two teams, is there? Tackles flying in. Into the last five minutes of a lively first half strap. All closed down. Andrews to take the the throw. Just to remind you, Monday, 10 o'clock, and again Tuesday, 6:30 on SPC. All of the highlights of the weekend, including possibly depending on today's results, Cardiff City winning the main Adran League this season. All depended on results today, but they're nearly there, and uh, we'll. Keep an eye on that, and we'll have the highlights for you. Yeah, well, my younger sister actually is um, part of that team, Cardiff City, and their focus this year has been, been on the league, so I'll be keeping a close eye on those scores. Uh, Phil Parkinson, well, what a season he is having, but he knows what it is to uh, sink at the very, very end. He's not going to want that to happen. Uh, they won 3 0. What did Notts County do? They win by three goals as well. And it's been such a chase between those two sides. But Wrexham and Phil Parkinson in the men's game have the edge here. It's still 1 1 and has been since early in this first half. It's a great time to be a Wrexham fan. <laughs> now then, there's a chance here. Pritchard. Rosie Hughes, of course, waiting for the delivery. That's Paul. Far too easy. And perhaps uh, Honesky should have uh, 
made more of that opportunity as well, but uh, not quite what uh, Rebecca Pritchard, three appearances for Wales at under-17 level for her, by the way. Well, that's good play by Hughes. Is she going to have a second bite at the cherry? Look at the determination. She's still going. It takes four to stop her, and in the end, the four do. That was a great touch. That was almost like Bergkamp-esque, the way she received that ball then. Just didn't fall to her. Um, but again, great defending by Koniski. Really resolute at the back. And see as the ball comes in, she's trying to, you know, use her body to open it. But you know, they're, they're, she's got four players around her. They, they know what she's capable of. They're doubling up on her, making life really hard for her. That's a good point, actually. They really have kept an eye on her, haven't they? They have. Um, but it's, you know, when you score 26 goals, 23 goals in a season, she is such a threat. She's such a favourite with the fans as well. You know, whenever she gets the ball, the crowd are cheering, they're telling her to shoot. Well, since she's joined Wrexham, she's played 37 games and she's scored 88 goals. That's how phenomenal her scoring record is. And I think regardless what league you play in, when you score that many goals, that is impressive. And there's Humphrey Kerr, and he is, uh, well, he's honoured with uh, being known as the man who brought the owners here and, again, came here knowing very little about the game. And it's been, it's been a delight watching him learn on the job, and he's loved it. And uh, they're going to have some uh, minimum added time. Three minutes, yeah, that's about right, isn't it? Mainly because of that injury to Kirsty Corral. This opportunity here for Davis. Oh, on her left foot has a strike. Yep, you saw the opportunity. She saw it. She knew what she wanted to do. Didn't quite get it right. Great opportunity there, vision to, from Hughes again to play in Davis. She shifts the ball onto her left foot, it opens up, but just just didn't connect with the ball cleanly enough to get generate power on the shot. Is there one twist at the end of a lively and very even first half? Ball looks for Wild McGregor. She started very well she's uh, been quieter in the second part of this first half and uh, in fairness to Katie Sharp she's defended well alongside uh, Erin Lovett the number four but uh, there have been worrying moments mistakes have given Connors key opportunities and is there one more good play but it's so competitive as the ball again finds Pritchard. And Pritchard's always available on this right-hand side, just as light foot is on the left, in towards Rosie Hughes. She can't quite find the ball to find Pritchard again. But Hughes again never gives up. The tenacity is a feature of her game. And you, you wouldn't be surprised if she went alone. In the end, she put it into the box. It was so, so vital that that ball was kept because Mackenzie was ready to strike. And in the end, a rather wild effort. And it would, you feel, have been a little bit harsh on Koniski had they gone in trailing at the end of this half, but they could have been. Yeah, they could have been again. Rosie Hughes in the thick of it, puts the ball in. But again, the numbers that Koniski have back in the box. But again, errors. Yep, errors, and I think that's just been, you know, at both ends, haven't it? Errors between both teams, just sloppy in possession. Well, Wrexham are finishing this first half strongly. Excellent play there by Andrews. And uh, Harley can only touch the ball towards Del Morgan. Morgan yeah. out towards Davis. And that's the uh, last action in this first half. And uh, everybody seems to have enjoyed what they've been watching. The opening goal for Wrexham, scored by Dickens. Uh, a direct effort.
but uh, Harvey brought Connors Key level and that's how it stays at half time and probably a fair reflection of the first half it's Wrexham 1 Connors Key 1 Dyn nhw'n sefyllfa, felly tipyn o hanel cyntaf fy'n hyn ar y cae ras. Mae'n gwbl gyfartal. Un yr un sy'n sgôr cyfarwydd pen wythnos yma. Cymru neithiwr yngdowasa ar ôl y gôl hwyr, hwyr, hyfryd, hyfryd na. Mae'n y gym ar agos bawr, dyn fyw'r esbyd o'r eich Cymru yn erbyn Latvia. Cofiwch am honna. Dwi wedi mynhau'r gym, dwi wedi mynhau Nicky John yn crwydro'r cae ras efyd yn i mynd ôl at ei nawr. Diolch to Emma Hamill, Gemma Owen, Gemma, your head of women's football operations here at Wrexham. 1-1 one, one at half time. How did you see that first half? Really competitive, I think. Um, we've taken a while to settle into the game, though. No, maybe that's the, the nerves of the occasion. But I think um, I think all in all, we've, we've had chances. I, I think we maybe could have taken them a little bit better than what we have. But... I've got no doubt that the girls are more than capable to, to come out second half and, uh, and get a result. I sat by you for a good ten minutes. Did I sense some frustration there as well? A little bit, just because um, I know that we can play better. Um, so, yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of frustration there, but, you know, I can fully understand that playing in front of this amount of people is, is it's a completely different atmosphere to what we get on a normal match day, so... So, yeah, I think once the girls, I know we're half-time now, but we've got another 45 minutes to settle into it. You just touched on it. It's huge today. It's huge to have this crowd here. It's huge to have the owners here. We saw you get a massive hug from them on the pitch as they came in. It's a special relationship. It really is. Um, you know, you, you can look at them, and like I did when they first came in, and thought, you know, these are, these are big people. Um, but when you meet them, they are extremely down to earth, and, and for want of a better description, they're very normal. And they're very supportive of what we're doing, and um, yeah, they're just two very, very lovely guys. Very lovely guys. To anyone who follows Scotia, there's a familiar face sat behind, beside you as well. Your husband, Gareth Owen, Gaz. Are you enjoying this afternoon? It's, it's fantastic to have so many people here supporting these girls, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's um, obviously a brilliant occasion for them. I think they, they've got to play to the um, to the game, really, not the occasion. I suppose as Gemma's just alluded to there, a little bit of rushing things a little bit, but they'll settle down. It's naturally there's some nerves there in the first game in front of so many people, but great for the, the female game in, in Wales, great for the local area as well, and brilliant to see the whole community in North Wales come out to see a game. I've got to ask you, back at your house this evening, Sunday dinner's on the table, is there any point that the discussion doesn't revolve around football? We end up moving the salt around and, the, yeah, we talk tactically about the Yorkshire puddings and all kinds, yeah, but it's 24-7 and Gemma's done a brilliant job here. You know, as you can see today, the interest around the game is, is unbelievable, really. It's a bit overwhelming for, for everyone involved. And yesterday as well, Gemma, fantastic result for the men again. Very, very good result, you know, they... They are also playing under so much pressure in, in the sense of Notts County is still repeatedly doing well and getting results week in, week out, and Wrexham have got to keep doing the same. And they they are just, uh, I love this club to bits, and that in the other men's side is a, is a huge part of that. And it would be lovely if both men and women's first teams can gain promotion this season. That would just be the ultimate. Gas, are they going up? The men's team and the women's team... Fingers crossed for both, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a, hopefully a good end to the season for us all, yeah. Diolch, thank you, Nicky. Diolch, thank you, Nicky. Ac i'r Owens is. Dyma... Yr hyn, wel o'n i'r y cael ras, Gemma, yn ffrindio mawr, gyda'r uh, Ser, Ryan a Rob. Wrth gwrs, fel ni'n cael gael yn nhw. Ffyn hyn, ta'n siarad yng Ngol Grefi Nawr, wrth o'ch ar y cael. Ta'n siarad yng Ngol Grefi Nawr, wrth o'ch ar y cael. Ta'n siarad yng Ngol Grefi Nawr, beth am y gem? Ys ti'n ffyn hau'r hanner cyntaf yna? Ie, o ddyn cystadleuaeth um, gyfartal, dwi'n meddwl, ond i ddyfi fel chwarewyr, na'i eisiau fwy um, o'r safon i'n mynd yn eich. Um, just come here a bail, pass your bail, boy, card your possession or bail. Um, I, yeah, either via Nisha Kal Golai on the Evid, Nisha Kal Golai CD Kali Heidi, got over the game Evid. So, yeah, do you mind that be the Ilhana and Mahano? Sorry, Macaulay. Don't you know, no, 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 no,
Rex have a minute of the blind or get green, ma. Come into a matter. My dip in the air again. Odd. Melody not the heaven. My should be the cold gate one and Gulio Eto on chest and table law and twist threading. Yeah, my own goal that, yeah. I'm paid out uh, with, uh, you know, he'd be a demon and great, but then go fantastic. No. Either be a step back, man, though, where they go. Yeah, I'll be the great on commentary. Or oh, the uh, cold gate, do I just be coming? A, a step three gunner, a wedding, and a oh, demon got the dart and dart and a flight or bail. Either via, but the being discoil goal gate to add via is our bedroom goal now. So either via, yeah, my goal that yeah, and a power man probably a well, but I'm fantastic. And that's where I went. I discoil the goal gate to add via our bedroom now. Go get towards Rexham. You wouldn't dig, but kick on and do my tip and that. But so we get to Rexham, no city any kick on the kick on and toad for him. But nobody now knows they know. And do my tip and that. Yeah, to me though, but kick on at the edge of our set plays. I sit my new men, they score a goal. I, my Rexham and Gangos, but you know, they're going to get set plays and I, and re wet. Uh, or the, or the EV, or Key Connor, the Havy, a goal, or Dustin Scorian, Steven Ed, or, uh, Pona, a cook, a kick Cornell, so either V, my new D Havy, a, a goal, or, uh, the Mugui Bodet, or Bear, or Gay Brand of an Aid. Um, and yeah, goal fantastic. But I'm not going to go in that, because I didn't have to hear that. But then, lots of, lots of, I'm the fun with, when I get that. Yeah, my easy camera shouts now, and I'd better go that to medal. Do you want, um, in Wagler to get the roll bail now? Or the easy camera shouts are really that. Does the team have a kick on and out? The team just spoil your party when in Rex, I'm getting a four game, some of them are much of now, me and Gwilio. The team of Charles, the team of the kick on that, the team of Sia. Well, the team of Shara, the ruins, the spoiler party at Thoiger, and Southampton, Ovline, Ega Milo Bobo. So, either V, but the V and Osi Huari kick on, I get spoil the party, don't have any issue. Yeah, I call it Egg, no, but it's. I'm just that and I'm Hannah Kanta. Um, to go to the school, more you call you in a rail, Hannah, sitting on the men's. I don't know, men do medal, but a game of mini golf and Gavarta. Um, but I'm not tipping a gun on you, I just think on that. Yeah, so either via my key corner, Dikal, a Royal Shanks, and a and a Hannah Eliade Gunta, and a Minade Gunta. On to other board wrecks them to embark and an a shy rosy housey grenade through Beth Arsenal in Brooklyn. My incumbent Pobble on Pop Mant on my new hang in Carru and Arath, he don't land good here, he trio Cal went to his name, Craig Rubeth Arath, he went in Cal and shouts out goal. So then we bought that. Who knows? Very well, pushing him on a pair Yeah, get any surprise. You know, I'm not going to say the. And back he would win him, and a glower on her hats are him in. Oh, Canada! Well, he's not perching on her head. Any old draw at Nicky? Dear Delan, Rhiannon Roberts, thank you so much for joining me. I have just seen some extremely cute pictures of you on your phone when you were this high in a Wrexham kit. What does it mean to be here today watching the girls, and what will it mean to the girls that are out playing on this famous race course pitch? Well, you've just touched upon it. It is a historic ground. And, yeah, I remember uh, sitting on the steel bars and um, watching the games when we were younger. And, yeah, it's just amazing to be back here. And the girls really, um, they, they should really take all this in because it's just incredible. They've done well all season. And, yeah, it's a, it's a great atmosphere to be in. Well, what a strive for as well to have this bumper crowd here today. You know, it's doing so much for the domestic game. And also, what does it do on an international stage as well? Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's an unbelievable ground and, you know, the girls deserve to be here. They've had an amazing season. They've won 11 out of 11 and that's, that's not an easy thing to do in, in any league. Um, so congratulations to the girls for that. Um, and on an international stage, you know, it's, only, it's not just good for, for the game, women's game, but it's brilliant for the Welsh game as well, for the women's, um, for the women's game in Wales. And um, on, a, on a Welsh point of view, yeah, we'd love to play here at some, some point. You know, we tried, to, we tried to play here in April, but um, the club decided that they wanted to save the pitch. Um, obviously, they've got back-to-back -to -back games, um, but we, we would love to play here at some point on the international stage. Can I ask, what did you make of the standard of the first half? It's been really good. It was um, a really tasty opening to early goals, so it was quite exciting. It's been end-to-end, -end, you know, they've had chances at both sides. Um, 
And yeah, it's been really good games to, to, to come and watch. So yeah, I'm really loving it. <laughs> Who will edge it in the second half? Oh, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? <laughs> There's only one answer There's there, surely. Answer there, yeah. Sorry, it's got to be the Reds. <laughs> oh, listen, I appreciate you coming to speak to us. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Rexham, Callum McFadden, Arakai, and Gavari, the Kai, Artaili, Hevid, uh, Elliot Lee, Emma Hevid, I dad, Rob, Brav Gold Gummins, or Givnogeth, Emma and Amlug. Nothing you bought a toy at Gaver, at Isle Hanner, but then, yeah, Marcel Luman and Carl, just in Wash God, you close some of them, but then Brav Gold and Merkhead and Clara, the Kara, too many Clara, and the Kai Ras, of course. It went there specially, Clara. Yeah, my just sound hanes. See, we bought panting daughter, my to get the girl to Adelaide. Then more modern and more classy. Panting in this stadium now. My stadium card did them fantastic. My modern. They still sound hanes now. And panting daughter, you can't imagine we bought the hanes. A game from Ladle can start to matter. You thought that game a mass. So um, yeah, either V, my just and Rube. Yeah. <laughs> Our moment when I'm gonna just take Milo Bob to get here and quill your game, so we're doing that here never be pimp Milo Bob Laras. So you got the door to quill your be my wreck some sauna, basin dig with a map. I'm a pechnogy on DNA poppet, them just on Arakai on poppet seed me that and shook and pass at Adela Diama. Um, I either vein again and crow with a sorry on a pow and tourists and all the or America and Canada. My just some fantastic equal my new daughter, my equal your accent. My did all all in Coeds, Lori Roberts, with us build droids and so on. So I need them a disco, I wear a level of my quarry gum reactor. On what there, a team I yanked it, I need excited, I need it now. When we took all my overhead and that could have the level and that. You want to boss it to medal? To medal, um, my new got for to medal roared. Llinell o'r safon sy'n bach yn, yn fwy uchel, dwi'n meddwl. Um, dyna pan i gyd yn chwarae yn Lloegr. Mae'r uchel drwg fan yn just a, a, a bell. A rhaid nhw'n fynd yn semi-pro, mae'n wneud y dyddorol gyda'r yeah, Rexham. So, os, os, os nhw gallu cael mwy o amser ar y cae, bydd hwnna wedyn yn tro nhw i fynd yn um, well gyda'r bêl, um, game intelligence yn gallu well da. A wedyn ti yn gallu gweld un hyn an, a wedyn mynd trwodd i'r, i'r gemau cymladol. Ia, ia, bydd yn wanaeth bod yna'n wneud. Cwn y sgîn, wild red dragon oedd yn ddod, ia. Cwn y chwarae ddoi, wedi cael cytun debyd llawn. Mae'n chwalu i'w erdo, ond yn y colli na fyn i'w erdo, ond dwi'n bod yn ddod. Mae'n cael o bwyntio jyst ar eich gem chi, mae'n nhw'n special i'w yna. Wel, os ti gallu gweld y gem a'i dynion, yn yr Academy, mae nhw'n 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, mae nhw'n chwarae ym arfer bob dydd, neu 5 dydd yr 8 nos, a wedyn mae nhw'n wneud yna, tan mae nhw'n 15, 16, 9, 10. Os yw'r mynywod a'r merched yn yr gem a'i yng Nghymru, gallu wneud yna hefyd, bydd y gem a'i mynywod rhyngladol, and kind of benefits of the Orthen. Yeah, the guys. The Nari Hell 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 guys. Welcome back, everybody. And uh, 45 minutes before what will be a presentation at the um, conclusion of this game. Uh, one change. 
and the change is that um, Tekan Hewitt for Nomads number 11 has come on to replace Polly Wild McGregor. Uh, Wrexham. Early start. And it was very, very important that Murphy was there before Lightfoot. And uh, positive start by Wrexham. Yeah, a much better delivery from Pritchard. She's got great passing ability, a great ball into the box, but the keeper does well. Corral right under the uh, referee's nose and uh, free kick conceded. Just to uh, remind you, Wrexham as winners could find their place in the uh, main ad run and that depends on two things it depends on them obtaining a license to play and it depends on them winning a playoff against Britain Ferry Koniski holding their own against them yep Britain Ferry have won the Ganero South Wrexham winning the Ganero North there'll be a playoff between them if if they acquire their licenses if they don't then that playoff won't happen because there'd be no point to it. That's well won by the substitute, Tegan Hewitt. And Tegan Hewitt on a good run. That's a positive start by the substitute. She goes alone. And uh, to translate the word Tegan into English is toy. And she was toying with Wrexham there. Yeah, she absolutely was. What a great start for her. Works really hard defensively to pick the ball up. Drives at the defenders. But her execution is shot at the end. Just lets her down. And again, just to emphasise, Nomad's second having lost just the once all season. Wrexham, well, they've won every one of their games. That's the difference between them. And Rosie Hughes, perhaps the other difference between them, gets the ball out again as she did in the first half towards light foot. When we think about the, the star players of this game, the players who've been, you know, the ones in the thick of the action, you've got Long, um, Rosie Hughes, Corral, and they are the top goal scorers in the league as well. So it just goes to show what they're doing week in, week out in this league. And, and uh, Amber Lightfoot was the, the other one as well. You know, four, four players from these two teams are the top goal scorers in the league. Again, substitute Tegan Hewitt determined, cleared out by Duffy. Good run, Hughes and Mike. Could you just sense perhaps, you just sense perhaps that the, uh, the solution is in the cooperation between those two? That might prove to be the difference we'll see. Well, she's doing really well, uh, Rosie Hughes. She's sitting just in front of the defence, between defence and midfield. And then Connors Key, they, they're not unsure whether to step with her. On that occasion, then, no one stepped with her. She's in that pocket of space, and that's when she turns, she runs at you. That's where she causes all sorts of problems. They are just loving it, aren't they? They are just loving it. Two games in two days. Men yesterday, women today. And at the moment, Koniski are having difficulty clearing their lines. Levitt joins from the back to add to the pressure. And... Uh, Maxim will be wanting to turn this uh, possession into an advantage, Corral back to help Sharp on the yellow card play safe chance for us to join uh, Nicky John again 
Cladwyn Ashford, da chi'n byn eithri atal o brysur, da chi ar y meic cynnydd cyhoeddiad yn y Gymraeg. Dwi'n dwi newydd wel chi'n cyrraedd yn ôl, mae hefo llwytho byneidia. Os am un i weld i fi, chwaith? Sori, ne, o'n i'n moment i'n cario tai i'n ei gwir. Nes i'n ei ddod e'n i bob un yn y chi. Dwi'n gwybod, wyt ti'n newydd gael clywad yn dy glys beth i'r dorf terfynol heb i ma, ma'n anhygoel? Mae nhw'ch chi'n cwilio hyn, dwi'n meld e. Mae'n ein 9,000 y cant yma heddiw. A mae hynny yn anhygol i le fel Wrexham, fel fi'n deis, a chi wedi sôn blwydd yn ôl yma, mae Gemma yn sefyll yn eistedd tu ôl yma. Se ni wedi deithi hi, bod i tîm hi, mae'n i gael 9,000 o bobl yn ei gwylio, bod se'n mae'n credu. So mae o'n anhygol o stori, dydy di. A'i fod yn deg, dwi'n gwybod mae o lawr i'r ddau Americanwr, dwi'n siŵr hefyd, felly. Ond uh, a mae'r awyrgylch yma, mae o'n i'n efallai di sadl ni ddod yn onest, felly. O, oedd o chi yma, ddo, hefyd yn dod o then, a wir yr yma, ond e'r unig gwahaniaeth heddiw yr achydi, mae'n ei gymaint fwy o blant yma. A mae mor, mor neis gweld nhw i gyd yma, lot o genad ifanc sy'n dechrau chwarae pêl-droed rhywan. A unrhyw ddeg, deudeg, ond e'n nhw, mae'n ei dros gant o'n e'n nhw. A mae hyn yn edrych yn dda, yn dydy, a dyna beth yn eisiau, wrth gwrs. A fach chi'n cyfeirio at y ffaith yn fan yna, nhw ddim wedi credu bod yna ffasiwn dorf yn mynd i fod yma. Bryd hynny, fysa nhw ddim yn credu chwaith bod nhw'n mynd i chwarae ar y cae ras, oedd hynny'n freidwyth o bell yn doedd. Meddyliwch am y cannoedd sydd wedi dod trwy Academy ni, um, a sydd wedi bod yma am flynyddoedd, sydd rioed i'r cael y fraint o chwarae ar y maes yma. A mae nhw wedi'i neud o heddiw. A mae nhw'n rai gwragedd allan y fanau, a rai merched y lefyd eid, sori, allan y fanau. O'n i'n clywed mae nhw'n tatrwy deg pedwar, a mae nhw'n rai eraill yna, sy'n un deg saith, un deg wyth, a dwi'n meddwl bod yna'n beth gwych i weld hynny'n digwydd. Um... Sullivan! Oh! Good, good save. Excellent uh, save. And look at Rexham, and look at this, and he didn't have a rai, and one was saying he didn't have a rai, and he didn't have a rai, well, that was a very, very fine save from Grace Murphy. She's being criticised, but that's one good save from both keepers. Wrexham press again. Hughes can't reach it. And um, good cross in. By the way, just before we forget, Cledwin Ashford, who was speaking there, has confirmed that the crowd, the attendance here is 9,100. This was close. It's a great delivery from Jones there. Deep cup delivery, but just Hughes just couldn't get, couldn't get high enough to connect with it. But that was a really good save from Grace Murphy. And in the first half, we saw a very similar save from Del Morgan, didn't we, in the uh, Wrexham goal. But both sides here, they're just having periods of uh, ascendancy in this game. Good play by Davis, who can keep that live, and she can. Not such a good ball in, but it arrives as a second bite of the cherry there, perhaps, for Mackenzie. Just both teams going toe-to-toe with each other. You know, this is what the fans want to see. When you've got that many people in the crowd, 9,000 supporters here, they want to see a competitive attacking game. And that's exactly what they're getting. Well, that's the uh, confirmation of the announcement, 9,100. And on Tuesday of this week... The local press in North Wales were so excited when they heard that the, uh, the ticket sales had reached six thousand pounds. Six thousand uh, tickets. That is quite quite excellent. And look what that means. Yeah, there was a project, there was an aim, and the aim has been achieved. You you have to give credit to the work that's done behind the scenes. You know to get local girls boys clubs in the price of the ticket it was a pound a ticket you know that's fantastic to be able to go and watch a game of football for a pound and you know they got they have their just rewards and it's still equal That's a chance for Skipper Dutton to collect. For the ball by Hughes looking again for Sullivan. Again, she's dropping into those pockets and she's able to pick the ball up. She has great vision trying to get um, the forward in play. Good closing down there by Harley for Connorski. 
And again, needless to say, Corral. And once again, when we've said that so often, Lovett tidies up well. Finds Sullivan. Ball runs kindly for her. Again, Hughes is with her. Sullivan, one of these direct runs. And uh, Andrews comes across. Sullivan can't quite keep that alive. They have such good threat going forward, Rex, and lots of options between Lightfoot, Pritchard, Hughes. Asking a lot of Harley and the ball passed to Sharp. And again, Lightfoot waits. Lightfoot cleverly finds Rosie Hughes. Lightfoot keeps on going. Excellent by Hughes. Can she pull the ball back? There with her supporting is Lovett. Lovett's chance to put it in. The final ball so often fails. That's the difference, isn't it? Again, Dutton the skipper. And uh, the shot is snatched by Pritchard. Another opportunity to join Nikki. Noel, thank you so much for joining me. It's great to see you here. You've had a bit of a busy weekend of football. Are you over last night yeah. yet? It's amazing. We're just all walking on air. I mean, look at today, of course, you've got 9,500 people here to watch a women's domestic game, uh, which just follows on from last night. We got back into Cardiff at five in the morning after a bit of a, sma a, bit of a smash and grab, I would say. Yeah. Uh, going to one of the best teams in the world, missing a few players ourselves, but Rob and the boys dug out an unbelievable result. Uh, a great performance to keep up with this fantastic Croatian side. Uh, but we're just so happy. I mean, if you take a football weekend to have that crucial point in Spliss yeah. and to come here and to see our women's game growing like this, it's brilliant. Watch football's growing. It's, it's great times. Let me ask you as well about Nathan Broadhead because what a dream first cap for him. Amazing. Unbelievable. Um, you know, they were just clapping Modric going off. I think everybody, the whole stadium, including their defenders, I think, were still clapping him going off. The throw goes in, Nebs gets a flick on her, and all we can see, because we're on the halfway line, is just see the net shaking. I didn't know who'd scored, I have to be honest with you, but it's only when you get after the game, you put on your phone, and you see the content that you guys produce, which is always great, on S. Pedwarek. Uh, um, but but yeah. I'll flip you that five afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the coverage is fantastic. You see the stuff after. Gwen and I think it was, you hear this kind of primitive scream <laughs> <laughs> when he scores. It's just fantastic. I've played it over and over on my phone, uh, her roar when he scores. But I mean, the emotion for him, um, I have to ask, I don't know him that well. He's come into the squad, but you can feel from him. I met him on the plane after. It means so much to the boy from uh, Bangor. Well, you talked about emotion there, and actually that's something that I felt stood on the side of the pitch right at the beginning yeah. of this game today here in Wrexham. It means so much to the domestic game, yes. It means so much to the women here and to this area as well. Oh, it's just fantastic. I mean, it's a full stadium, as you can see. A lot of people over many years have put a lot of time in to creating experiences like this. The women's game is massively on the up. Look at our national team going from 1,500 people to 15,000 people for home matches uh, recently. So here today, again, nearly 10,000 people. It grows and grows. The quality of the game, look at the quality today. Some amazing goalkeeping, which I'm always interested in as a former goalkeeper. But look at player after player, fantastic quality. Connors Key have been fantastic as well. So the quality goes up. The opportunity uh, for Welsh football, when you've got the likes of Connors Key, Wrexham, Cardiff, Swansea, glass ceilings being broken. It feels every... So I'm here 18 months, and it feels with the women's game, every month it feels like there's some glass ceiling being broken. Not just on the pitch like we see today, but even in the next few weeks you've got Lauren McAllister going onto the board of UEFA in early April. It's only a couple of weeks away. All of the time we're going to see more and more women in our decision-making positions as part of our governance. So 
the game has gone from a male dominated game a few years ago to very much more rounded we still have a way to go we shouldn't get complacent even with full stadiums like this we still have a long way to get to where we want we want to see you know the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid coming here to play in European football whether it's here or Cardiff City or Swansea or wherever it is um, to see us reach our full potential we want players from this league playing in our national team as well there's a bit to go with that our top players obviously play in the English system but we want to build a domestic championship which I know we're working towards where lots of girls can play in our national team as well the standards keep increasing and we feel at the FAW in a very good place at the moment everything seems to be growing we've got a new strategy coming soon for the men's Premier League but certainly I know the work that's gone in the women's game will just see success it feels like home runs and everything we're doing at the moment with the women's game so every pound we're putting into the women's game comes back in spades you know when we invest in the women's game and we are massively we're the highest spending association in Europe on the women's game as a percentage of our turnover and that is fine but we need to keep growing we can't get complacent we need to keep investing in the game because the results come just today you know, I'm buzzing. I'm just buzzing looking around the stadium. You're around. buzzing. We're buzzing. We're all buzzing. Diach now. Diach now. Yes, Noel Mooney. Well, you cannot deny his enthusiasm. I think if we'd have stayed with him, the crowd would have gone from 9,500 to 20,000. Blake Lively, by the way, an actress in her own right, a film star in her own right. Mrs. Ryan Reynolds, of course, sponsoring the uh, women's team. And um, good to see her here. And uh, many thanks from all corners for her contribution as well to this venture. Still, it were emphasising equal between Wrexham and Koniski, two sides who've gone toe to toe this season. And it's just that one defeat for Koniski at the hands of Wrexham in the league. That's the difference, isn't it? Rosie Hughes. She really has been well marshalled. Of course, she's created opportunities, but they've been few and far between. Davis, Davis finds Pritchard, and just uh, to confirm one of the uh, changes we saw during Noel Mooney's interview, Kim Dutton, the captain of Wrexham, has left and has been replaced by Mia Roberts. But again, captain Vukanski still going. What a run by Corral, and it needed the interception of Del Morgan. That's a corner conceded. Well, we've seen three faces again and again and again. McKelleny, Reynolds and Corral. She's been everywhere. She just pops up everywhere. She's got four players around her there, and it takes the goalkeeper to tackle her for the ball to go out for a corner. She has covered so much ground, so much ground. Well, if anybody deserves a goal, if anybody deserves not to be on the losing side, it's the Konski captain, no doubt about that. Now then, the corner kicks for both sides have caused problems! That was a flash header. Now, it was Levitt who let it go, it has to be said. And I think the header may have come in from McCaffrey. Yeah, it's a driven delivery towards the near post. A great run. Jones, she in just... fact... She, le she just loses her marker. Oh, so close. Just couldn't direct it on target. Yep, she did well to get to it. But Wrexham, you feel, could have cleared it. But uh, that's probably the closest we've had to a goal in the second half. Yeah, that's the, the best of the action. And look at this. It, it's a good five minutes. It's a good five minutes in Stutton left, and she's still signing autographs. You know, what an occasion for her to lead her team out in such a... You know, she's a massive Wrexham fan, so to be here playing, leading your team out, embracing the fans, that's, that's a childhood dream. There's been a goal, by the way, in the main Adran of the women. Cardiff have taken the lead, so they, if that stays, will be champions, confirmed as champions in the main division this afternoon in the women's game. In the meantime, chance for Wrexham again. Important defence work this time from Andrews. And both sides, they really do have their periods, don't they? They 
do look like winners, both of them. They're both making mistakes. But it's a Cardiff ahead of New Saints. And just to confirm, if that stays, then they will be champions today. On the day where Wrexham are celebrating being champions in the uh, Janeiro North. And it's Wrexham's ambition, of course, to join the New Saints to join Cardiff, to join Met Cardiff, to join Swansea in the main division. Yeah, and the Wrexham manager, he said he wants his team to be the best team in Wales. He has big ambitions for his team, you know, and they're going def definitely going in the right direction. They've got one more final game to play. Obviously, they have to be successful in their application, but that's, that's a club you want to be at, isn't it? A club with ambitions. They've talked about going semi-professional as well, so this is great, great for the women's game. Still nothing between these two sides. Again, Hewitt, the substitute, charged down by Lovett. I've liked her. She's worked well in the defence. Hughes. Oh, Hughes takes advantage of rather sloppy words. This is excellent. Now Lightfoot's there. Well, she has a chance here to make it two. And the tip of the finger save from Grace Murphy. But Lightfoot again and Rosie Hughes combining. And for the second time in the second half, good goalkeeping work. Great feet from Rosie Hughes here. She leaves two players. Great ball in. She opens her body up, but fingertips by the goalkeeper. She does everything right. But just great, great goalkeeping. That was going in, wasn't it? It was. She opened up her body to, you know, to um, change the angle. But great goalkeeping. They have such a great partnership, Lightfoot and Hughes. It's fallen to the substitute, and it's uh, Wrexham, then followed by the Nomad, and the shot goes over the bar from Hewitt. And would you believe it's so close at one end, then close at the other end. The transitions in this game from attack to defence to attack, great for the, uh, for the fans, but the substitute again, coming on, causing problems... Great defending but from Lovett, great defending. Yep, and Lovett again, it has to be said. The saviour for Wrexham, but what a save that was. Great feet from Hughes. Fingertips. One end of the pitch to the other, back to Corral. And... Uh, it's uh, the visiting side's chance to put pressure, and it's a free header, but it's over the bar. Both teams putting pressure on each other, looking for that second goal. Great delivery again. Just couldn't get under it. Another change. And uh, leaving is Mackenzie. And uh, replacing Mackenzie is Sophie Hodson. And uh, Sophie, striker, two goals this season. And this is her seventh appearance off the bench. And then uh, Finos Hughes coming on for the visitors to replace Ella Harvey. So a change each there. And uh, Another change as well, and it's uh, Emily Bentley replacing Amber Bailey. So all change, still 1-1 as we approach the last uh, 20 minutes. It's a close one to call, a difficult one to call, isn't it? Good work by Hughes again. Looks for light foot. Good defending by. Was that strap? It was offside. Anybody? Light foot gone a little bit too early. It's been a real competitive, even game, haven't it? Attempts at both ends, but you have to give credit to both goalkeepers coming up strong with some great saves. 
Uh, is it fair to say that when you look at the development of the women's game, it has been the cause of, if not the butt of jokes, the cause of criticism that the goalkeeping standard perhaps exposes, but that's improved, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's been hard to find good goalkeepers in the women's game, but I think this shows today that the standard is improving. We've had some great goalkeepers in the past, past for Wales, but it's now, you know, that's filtering down into the domestic league, and, you know, that that's exactly what you want to see. So any young girls out there who you know, want to be a goalkeeper, this is, this is a great um, showcase for that and get involved with your local clubs. Yeah. Yeah. Dalek Morgan, actually, the the Wrexham goalkeeper, is a, also a goalkeeping coach as well. So not not only are these girls role models on the, on the pitch, but there's other opportunities as well in terms of coaching. So find your local teams and attend these sessions. Yeah, I remember Gwenon Harris commentating with me when Danny Ward in the... Uh, goal for Wales made a dreadful mistake and Gwen and said if that was a, a, a woman goalkeeper a ladies goalkeeper there would be there would be jokes galore but yeah. it can happen in both games it does happen in both games it's also when a striker's in front of the goal in the women's game and they miss they get a lot of sick but it happens in in the men's and the women's game let's join Nicky John again well, I think I'm sat here with Phil and Anne, who are representatives from the North Toronto Supporters Branch of Re Wrexham Football Club. Chris Anthony, it's great to have you. Tell me, just tell me what you've just told me about your journey here. Well, it's been such a joy to arrive 24 hours ago and then to pick up her daughter also from Dubai to watch the men's game and then today we're lucky to watch the girls game. game yeah so we've been to wales before or you know we come from montreal originally in toronto but we wanted to come and see for ourselves this pretty exciting uh you know match and see what what Wrexham's all about and we're just delighted to be here and had you ever heard of Wrexham previously no no we've been to wales before but we hadn't been up to the north country and so so can you tell me now in toronto in canada what kind of a reputation and a name does the club have there now? Outstanding, phenomenal, because we've lived in different parts of the world, but Wrexham really is the coolest. Everybody wants to come here. We feel so lucky to be here, but Wrexham's got their name branded so well because of Ryan and Rob. It's just so welcoming. But, you, but you've got your own brand. I mean, what, what they've done for the club is amazing, but you already had the community and the spirit here. I mean, they didn't bring that. You had that already. So that's evident in the pub and anybody that we talk to. It's just amazing to hear this, the perspective from the other side of the world. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah, truly. And it's all about family. And that's what we got from the series. But we see it here. I mean, the children are just as important as the men. The women are involved. You know, it's all it's all a, a community. And you're staying here, Phil, for a couple of weeks. You've got time to take in a couple more games. Yes, we are. We're coming to the April 1st game. We're so happy to be here. Because I don't know if you know, it's during the World Cup, but three women were refing a men's game. That was Unbelievable. So for women, I'm so happy. Yeah. And just the whole community, you feel like you're in part of a family. And here in particular, as Anne said, they make you feel so welcome. And your daughter's here as well, enjoying the special occasion with you. Yeah. Loving it. And she's a big, you know, loves the sports, but this is this is her sport. Yeah. What about the national anthem? Because uh, I believe, Anne, that we have a singer in our midst. Tell me what you did with that anthem last night. You and Edwards, who was from Wales, was my choir director, and he taught me the national anthem when I was in grade Seven. So yesterday at the pub, they started singing it, and they said, do you know what I said? I do, so I, I sang a bit at my hen. Are you going to give us a couple of bars, Anne? Go on. My hen lad van heidei un anno eligid. That's it. Amazing. That was beautiful. Diolch yeah, Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it never ends, does it? One amazing story after the other. Katie was complaining about having come all the way from Cardiff. They've come from Montreal. I can't sing like that, though. I'm just going to ask for a couple of bars now. Wrexham, back to the football. Who's going to get the winning goal? Almost without needing to say it, it was Kural who was uh, clearing that. But what, what a story this is. What an impact it's having literally worldwide. Ball with Pritchard. And uh, go to Wrexham. Oh! And 
you watched uh, Grace Murphy in the Connors Key goal flapping for a moment but she let it go and uh, roof of the net it was a punt it was a an effort it wasn't that one coming now Ambitious, ambitious effort, but the keeper nearly got caught out there. There's a chance here. What excellent, excellent defending. Fair play to Finos Hughes, the substitute. She came across Rebecca Pritchard there. A very, very fine piece of defending. You have to say, you have to give credit to Connors Key. They've really limited the chances the Wrexham have had. They've um, defended in numbers. They've got around Rosie Hughes. They've limited her chances. Dickens to take the corner kick as the crowd urged them on that's beyond everybody and we're in the last 15 minutes and it's still 1-1 as it has been since early in the first half Oof. that was a, that was a determined challenge by Emily Bentley Ooh, a bit late there And it's good to see that Maya Roberts is uh, is good to go. And there's a change again. And it's Lily Whitefoot coming on. And to replace Rebecca Pritchard. And uh, Ella Clifton Stringer has come on for Katie Sharp. Katie Sharp, the girl who saw the yellow card in the first half. And, uh, Rebecca Pritchard's played well. Yeah, she has. She's done really well down the right hand side, put in some great balls, some great deliveries. Injury at the uh, edge of the uh, Koniski box at the moment. Just to uh, confirm, by the way, we mentioned 9,100. It's 9511 the attendance. So over 9,500 here. And um, well, the figure speaks for itself. It's incredible to see, isn't it? Breaking the record in the domestic league. Families, all ages here to enjoy such a great occasion and uh, just to confirm the winner of the Ganeiro North will play the winner of the Ganeiro South in a playoff at Newtown provided that both teams Forest Green and Wrexham obtain their licenses and they will move up the winners will then move up to join the Cardiffs and the Swansea's and uh, just to confirm Wrexham have indicated that if that happens to Wrexham then they will make this Wrexham team a team of semi-professionals which would be of course yet another step forward uh, Britain Ferry between Wrexham and that ambition but is there a winning goal in the last 12 minutes who's going to make the mistake who's going to be tired good one two shot comes in and uh, Lily Jones was unlucky there, she did well. Yeah, great combination play in midfield then, creating the space, but again, great defending from Connors Key. Numbers around the ball, really solid in defence. Lily Jones is another player who's come through the ranks, captain of the under-19 team, made a senior debut when she was 16, you know, she's earned her rewards by becoming a, a major part of the first team as well. Yep. She was a mascot for the men's team 10 years ago. Look at her now. And then ball again doesn't fall for Rosie Hughes. And uh, going back to Rosie Hughes, who's been kept really quiet this afternoon. She scored three goals or more in eight matches this season. That's how dominant she has been. Now then. 
a chance here for Hewitt, who's made an impression since coming on as substitute. That's a rather wild attempt. And tiredness, fitness, it's going to come to play now, isn't it? Yeah, you can see now they're getting tired, the passes are not connecting, the game's really spread out, there's big gaps in between um, the units. We're just going back to Ro Rosie Hughes. Of all the games she wants to score in, it's in front of this crowd, isn't it? She's got 23 goals, but she will be absolutely dying to score here this afternoon. Ten minutes of the uh, 90 left. We know where the championship's going. We know who's going to lift the trophy. But uh, there's needle between these two sides. They'll both desperately want to win. Koniski really will want to spoil the party. And Wrexham will want to finish their flawless yeah. season with no defeats. Obviously, they'd love to get a win here. But Koniski haven't made it easy for them. And Mark Griffiths is the one you see in the middle, spouting away. He is the voice of Wrexham. He was uh, very prominent in that Welcome to Wrexham documentary that our guests from uh, America were referring to. He's been commentating for years. Always a warm welcome when I join him in the press box here at the race course. That needs to be defended. A little bit of hesitancy again, and it's cleared in the end by Davis. Up now, who's getting here first? That's good play. Finds Rosie Hughes. Now, is this the chance she's been waiting for? Foot on the accelerator. Rosie Hughes goes. And Rosie Hughes is going to get her goal. That's the goal she wanted. She's worked so hard for it. And the standout player of Wrexham this season has finally got her goal. All of her qualities shown there. Pace, strength, composure. It's Wrexham 2, Poniski 1. And we literally just talked about the girl who scores the goals. A sensational play by Rosie Hughes. Everything we've talked about in build-up. Her pace, being able to run at players with two feet. She just used her strength, her pace. She glides past the defender. And this is what she's good at. One and one on the keeper. Great finish. You see here, goes past the defender, round the goalkeeper and slots her in. What a reaction. Yep, that's what it means. And uh, they will be hoping that that will be the winning goal. And so will he. And uh, isn't that wonderful to see? And it's very fitting that it's going to be, or could be, Ro Rosie Hughes. Back to Nicky John. Well, I've got some very, very proud parents sat with me today. Andy and Claire, parents of Erin Levitt. It's your 50th birthday today, oh, Andrew. Yeah. What a way to celebrate. It's a great occasion for the girls. Um, full house, 9,000, amazing. Just to see coverage. Just makes it a very special day. I, I can be, can be proud of, of of my daughter and all the girls really. And what a time for your Wrexham fan, by the way, because it's just what these guys have done, not just for the club but the town is is fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic, and uh, it's um, a dream come true, I think, for every Wrexham fan to have these guys here. You know, absolutely. I, I want to ask Mum Claire. You know, seeing your little girl, did you ever imagine that you'd see her on this stage? playing in front of nine and a half thousand fans it's an incredible afternoon and you must be so proud it's amazing because at, at 19 when she started the journey she was the only girl to start off in a large team and initially play then progress to a secondary school started playing with girls football um, through the through the Wrexham system initially then through Wales under 16s and it's just been an tremendous journey for them and when you're out of the house three nights a week running around and then to be able to to come and watch her a mile away from from home at a club that your husband supported i'm obviously not Wrexham initially i've only supported them 25 years but he supported them all his life and for us to be able to be here today 
to watch her play. What's she been like this week with yeah, all the build-up? Yeah, nervous. We've been teasing her a bit because um, we've obviously seen the ticket sales on Twitter. You know. She's on the ball now. And yeah, she is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm nervous for her as well when, she, when she's got the ball. But yeah, we've been teasing her. They sold 4,000, they sold 5,000. And I didn't know they sold over 8,000. <laughs> it's just like, oh, don't mention it. I'm just trying to block it out, I think, and just, just try to play the game, not the occasion, but it's hard, isn't it, really? And you've never normally two or 300 watch. We mentioned that you were turning 50 today. I did ask you what the secret was, and you said it's Wrexham Lager. Wrexham Lager, yeah. Wrexham, lots of it. <laughs> well, listen, enjoy such Thank a special afternoon. Diolch about it. Thanks for covering it. It's a fantastic Diolch. Diolch and Bauer. Connors Key want to spoil the 50th birthday party. They want to spoil Wrexham's party. Um, but uh, so far, that goal from Rosie Hughes looks as if it might be the difference between these two sides, her 24th goal this season. Good work again by the one player who really doesn't deserve to lose, that's Corral, upfield. And uh, they've still got four minutes and time added on, and the way this game's gone, it wouldn't surprise you if there was another twist in this game. Dickens, upfield. Now this girl, Lily Whitefoot, did really, really well to play her part in that Rosie Hughes goal. She won the ball and she delivered the pass to Rosie Hughes. And she looks again, this time to feed in Lily Jones. Yeah, she's had a great game since she's come on, being really direct and, like you said, played the part in the goal. And it's great to see, you know, both teams using lots of their subs so they can all enjoy the occasion. Here there may be four minutes of time added on, barring any additional stoppage time. And uh, the uh, player of the match has just been announced, and that's been announced as Rosie Hughes. Um, it may be that there's some local influence in that choice, but uh, that was a memorable goal. She's worked really hard. I'm just wondering what else that Kirsty Corral would have to do. Um, but she, Rosie Hughes, adds that award to uh, an excellent season. She's fighting, continues to battle. And just to go back to that promotion playoff. If it happens, it will be live on S4C. Wrexham against Britain Ferry, the 16th of April, and that will be available in America and Canada, as well as in Rithin and Swansea and Carmarthen and Cardiff and Aberystwyth and Britain Ferry. And again, that's just great for, for the women's game, the visibility, showing these games. It's great for the domestic league. Close to the uh, last minute. Kural, good ball in. It's hanging there. Keeper decides to stay on her line. Now there's a chance here, and it's hit wildly. It has to be said by Bentley. There was no Rolls Royce finish from Bentley there. No, and she's not happy with herself, is she? Just snatches at it. We see a sail over the bar. Should be testing the keeper from there. Yep. We're coming towards the, the end. Overall, Rex deserved to win, or will Connors Key feel a little bit unlucky? I think it has been even. Um, a goal had been coming from, from either team, but our last goal from Rosie Hughes, it kind of just sums up their season, doesn't it? You know, absolute class from her. Everything we've talked about, 23 goals. And it's just a great way for, for them to finish the season and be crowned champions as well. Yep at this level and it needs to be emphasized again this is tier two level uh, we, we aren't at the standard in in tier one yet but um, the standout players do stand out don't they and we've had two in particular in this game and uh, just to confirm again that the uh, player of the match 
has been announced as uh, Rosie Hill. She's certainly the player of the season, so uh, perhaps she deserves to have that accolade on this day when there's so much attention on her. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, like we say, it's not only the goals she scores, it's everything else about her game. Yes, she is a great goal scorer, but we've seen other parts of her game to get today. The way she drops in, picks up the ball, she links up with other players around her, her work rate to win the ball back. It's not just about um, scoring goals, and I think her all-round performance deserves her man of the match. Yep, well put. Four minutes of time, Corral, and again in hard. Love it. She really has defended well, and that's left. Corral on her knees at the moment that challenge but uh, Nomad's still trying to press but Wrexham have it and uh, they can't release Rosie Hughes there, good important interception by Strap but out it comes and Wrexham come again but we've seen a lot of this the, defend, the covering work from both sides has been good, they see when there's danger, they come across and it's not been easy for the attacking players to get away they haven't made it easy at all. Konarski have not made it easy for Wrexham. I think defensively they've been really organised, really resolute. And I beginning of the game you could see there was nerves from, from both defences. But I think Konis Konarski have worked really, really hard defensively. Yep. <laughs> all in all, rather tired play by both... Um, Mia Roberts and Tegan Hewitt. <laughs> you get the impression that they won't mind hearing the final whistle, particularly, of course, the Wrexham players. Like put again. That's going to fall to Hodson. Oh, it's going to fall to another one who perhaps deserves a goal. And that is Amber Lightfoot, but uh, Murphy again exemplifies what's been a feature of this game. There have been times when both keepers have done really, really well. Yeah, they have, and they've been in the game a lot. They've commanded their area well. Some great saves from, from either end. Is there a twist? Wrong option, is it? Just strong enough to reach Morgan, and Morgan clears but you cannot fault the effort of these Connors key players they are going to make it difficult for Wrexham towards the very end a minute and a half of the added time left again it's white foot for Wrexham trying to keep possession falls to Hewitt she's played really well since coming on that's a heavy touch from Harley she'll be disappointed with that she will but the goalkeeper again Delith Morgan what she does so well is she's off the line so quickly Yes, it is a bad touch, but she's off the line, ready to mop up any mistake. Well, I think we can all agree the aim of today has been achieved, no doubt about that. It was all about bringing attention, as Noel Mooney said, to the women's game, all about making people aware of what's happening out there in the women's game and um, two of the better teams, two of the best teams at the uh, lower level have given us a feisty battle and uh, it's all worked well. It's been a great showcase event, it's, you know, going back to what I said at the beginning about showcasing it in the north, we see a lot of women's football played in the south, but just making a statement from the north, they are here, they deserve their, their coverage too. And that's what's been so pleasing about today, a record crowd in this area. And I think we should have more Wales games, international games spread out. The England team do it, they go to different stadiums around England. You know, I think we need to sometimes copy what they do. That's not going to fall to Connors Key. That's the final whistle. And it's Wrexham who celebrate. They came here as champions. They leave here victorious with the winning goal having been scored by Rosie Hughes and it's good to see the men that have made this happen celebrate and uh, commiserations to Connors Key they have played their part as expected they have made life difficult 
but the smiles are from those in red. Wrexham took the lead through Dickens, Harvey brought Connors Key level, one each at half time, and then a standout goal by Rosie Hughes was the difference in the end. And uh, just about, perhaps, just about Wrexham deserved to win, Katie. I think overall, yes, they did. Um, th this is amazing to see, you know, great scenes. We're going to see Wrexham lift, lift the trophy. It's all ended with the champions winning. Wrexham 2, Connors Key 1, over to Nicky John. Kim Dutton, captain, you've literally just said to me, you can't breathe. Can you sum up your emotions and what an incredible feeling it must have been to walk out here today to lead the team in front of nine and a half thousand fans? Yeah, it's crazy. It means everything to me. I was only here yesterday as a fan and that was when I thought, it's real now. I'm, it's me tomorrow and just the best feeling ever. And like you said, nine and a half thousand fans. And when they announced it, the ball went out. So I thought, I did applaud it. I probably shouldn't have. Should have been on the game, but I just couldn't believe the amount of people that were here. And it means everything, so I want to thank everyone that's come as well. What was the game like to play in today? Pressure, a lot of pressure, because it, to be fair to Nomads, they've, they've always given us a good game. We never knew who's going to win that, uh, so all credit to them. Uh, but it was a big game, and look, we we played to the we didn't play to the occasion. Sorry, you know, we played our game. Obviously, we knew the support was there, but we need we knew we needed to block it out and just do what we normally do. What about Rosie's winner, though? Oh, amazing. I'm so happy for her. I said on the side then, I said, when you scored as many goals as you had this season, you obviously would want to top it off here. So I'm really happy for her. I spoke to you earlier on in the season, well, and you were still very much on this journey. You know, you told me at that time, a couple of seasons ago, you, the women weren't even wearing the club press. When you look today at the fact that you're playing on the race course ground and you're lifting the title, that's the stuff that dreams are made of. Oh, yeah, 100% is what... Uh, Dreams are made of, and you know, this is when I said about you know, no one is winning the league. I never thought we'd get the opportunity to be doing it here and with the owners here as well. So it means everything to us. What does this opportunity mean to this group of girls, Kim? It means everything. You know, a lot of us have, there is a few of us that have been here for a few years now. We've been here through the hard times, the good times, so it means everything. And you can hear the fans now singing along. It's, it's crazy. I'm normally the one in the stand singing, not standing on the pitch here. I just can't believe it. Well, listen, I'm not going to keep you from the celebrations any longer. Go and enjoy them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jafar Yawni, Nicky, Kim Dutton, Gadahi, and Krenoir Kavan. Come in, Mahin, and Yalagi. Er Khoreywer, Er Hafordwer, and Er Kernogwer, Sidi, Pedio, Ama, Nau, Mila, Haner. Tash Harding, Gadavi, did a lot of points to where be. I'm going to go in, but I'm going to take Tash. Yeah, my just, my, my, my dang gossip bath or Slay uh, Mayo. I'm just I'm down at a club on my pal Diaros, then in now me just now me la hana or bob Diaros, he will your pop a fell in. Dumb my baby, a shy of own Cumbria, of own a game I'm an award. When I remember the day with Dross at Dross North, to be but now on Ossindo, Shuba, um, Ossin Waiting Dalad, Dumb my baby, Gaki Kalath and Ohin. Um, uh, yeah, my just some proviad and her gullo died, Merched, see the board of Valley Pills, I got a cow. You mean that you saw them a level here and domestic? I can't believe it. I'm going to take your cut out of that. I'm going to do an issue of three bad run in a goggle. I'm going to find a game I'll give you. Never chance so well in a day. I got now me the hand there, but then we go up my next time and what had all of us pop this and dig with all the other guy. I'm going to do team lads when I do with my own and dig with her and give them their kids. Give it to Spill Drodes and Roy. More your solo, more your bits of the ads. You got a shot, get the lionesses, head bits, not a bit. To team Lord Gohanyes? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm got uh, a, a proper CD Brunny, uh, Brunny RX. I mean, we bought my hand him just from Dan and Noah, my new golf at Gwyth and Gale, Rory and Peth by my back in Gadar, Rory Radian, Rory Merchid and Semi Pro. Um, I was in Pam and Calza de Avelin, my Dangos, to get the Gwell, or some Pam Divan. To get to the hospital, even at the end of the end goal, I don't have any way to So, my question is, I'll go back to the beginning and down, because you see my error in the Raja League, um, based on the Raja League.
Afton or, or Gwyn Gallows. More than probably well, David, for the take of Pechnog on Drawy Curry with Kay Connor. So I'm going to just stick with the bottom of Diaz. I'm going to go to America, Canada, I'm going to do the hook for the Hollywood. I'm going to go to the personal touch when I get into this thing. Yeah, I see me getting well the documentary. I'm getting good, but I'm Rob McElhenney and just get right. I in the room see the and Juara y Gamri and they can reach all y Gamri. I'm in the bath or Juarean. I'm going to see I'm in a pair joint and just get me Shara can ride. My husband and wife the beat. I don't know about my new keyboard. My new keyboard is fast or um, relationship. My new got a golf at Carl. Got a Paul Bossy then and Rexham. I just can't believe. My new keyboard is very. My new keyboard is very. Can I wear Rexham? A compass, a kai, can I go to my telly eyes and hand and evan? And I'm well aware of Benjamin Bead, Bob of Canada, and you're not a circular. A ceremony, a Christmas one, Cal Cup one, one one, Ben Campwell, a brief adran and a gogled. Baby, then you'll look up on the edge. You the Cal Ryle goal now, because when you're out the day the game, you go for one of the Irish pub game. One of the legs have been my shoulder now. Yeah, be the raw town had Jerry the new even many a game and had been a fan so well, Britain Ferry. So I get on in Edrich our adran league Janeiro. Mae'n safon uchel fwy a step uchel fwy. Um, a os nhw'n curo bryd yn fferi, dwi'n gorffod... Byddai fi'n edrych at Rexham a maen nhw'n gorffod gweith yn galed i trig y stadlu yn erbyn uh, y likes yr Abra Tawe a Cardydd hefyd. Ie, yeah, Cardydd y mynd am y Ben Camporiaeth plan mae hefyd yn y gynghrair yna. Maen nhw wedi ennill y gynghrair gyda llawdol yn ei wneud ar ôl ennill yn erbyn y, y seintiau newydd. Felly dyna'r target o ran Rexham. Ah, Sean Sowell. Ar uh, Pernogion yn dal i gael y sylw ar y cae. Rob McElhenney a'r Ryan Reynolds gyda'r chyrwyr Ivan Cefyd. Wedi ymddangos yn sgorio hefyd pnaw mae. Mae'r rhaid bydd hwnna'r CV nhw cyn bo hir. Pellter o ffilmiau. Tomis so, hynny yn, uh, <laughs> yn Philadelphia. Yn yr gyfres. Wedi bydd yn gofio yn yr gyfres. Mae'r gyfres yn ni wedi dangos llunni ar y documentary. Yn union. Yn union. Fydd CV Ryan Reynolds nawr yn gweud Deadpool sgorio. Ben Dant, dwi'n credu. Ie, lwc ges iawn. Yn union. 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 Yn ar ran y merched, mae'r ennill chi'n gynghrair hefyd. Dyna'r cyhoeddiadau chi'n clywed tu ôl i ni. Beth sydd yn ddodol hefyd yw, os mae'n bynnag ddawn ebyn Llan Sawel, mae'n rhyw momentwm gyda hyn tu ôl i ni nhw. Pwy o hwyl beth yn digwydd o ran Tîm Rexham, y dynion a'r merched? Ie, mae jyst yn dangos, yn waith eto, sydd gallu gweithio yn galed, cael y Tîm Dynion a'r Tîm Merched y ddau ohonyn nhw'n gweithio'n gyda ei gilydd. Fe bynnag sy'n gallu digwydd yn y dyfodol, ond iddyn nhw nawr ar ôl, ar ôl mwynhau um, y celebrations, gorfod edrych tuag at y gêm na, os yw nhw'n gallu mynd mewn i, I, i'r dynar o leads, fydd yna'n ffantastig iddyn nhw ar y clwb a wedyn ti'n gallu... A dda'r gynghrair hefyd, i fod yn ond, yeah, 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 profile Rexham yn mynd i helpu'r gynghrair. Byddwn ni'n gweld mwy o gemau fy nyn, dorf yn... Uh, uh, yn tyfu mewn pob gêm. A dyna byn ni eisiau, ni eisiau cael mwy o pobl sy'n gwylio o'r tîm a'i mynywod Cymru, dod mewn i'r clwbiau hefyd a, a gweld nhw. Ac yn dal i gael lluniau hynny. Jeff, draw fy nyn, Ryan. Mae'n ni'n cael llun dy tîm. Mae'n ni'n feddwl, os o'n i'n mynd i'n draw fy nyn, mae'n lle gael ni'n weld. Os cyn gweld uh, fi y tas yn ei pitch invasion, mae'n ni'n gweld beth sy'n digwydd. Y tîm i'n dig naw. Yn cael ei gwbrwyo yn gyntaf, maen nhw'n dipyn yn brofiad iddyn nhw ei fod yn dig, wedi ennill y gynglair, a dyddol nhw'n gymun o gyfnogwyr sydd i aros hefyd, mae dal yn, o, oh, mwy nhw'n lai'n llawn ma, ar y cae ras naw, mwy nhw'n hanner, rwy'n gwneud yn adrodd yn ei, mae'n werth y tegi hynny. Yn record, mae'n rhan y gêm ddomestig yng Nghymru, wedi chwalu'r record hefyd, a nhw wedi ceisio creu rhywbeth ar gyfer y gêm ola ma, a wedi llwyddo gwneud hynny hefyd. 
Cleon and Roberts, so the Sharon and Egan had that. Going on with Alice, Steve Williams, show with the Gimdaita, Spell Joys, Hebbit, Paul Bonofical medals, us, show us your medals. I own an Andre and Ketan, better of Umtek, Spell and Egan. Thank you. 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 I'll buy you on and on the team can't talk. I just bet he's a girl that I'm looking. Yeah, my just in Dangos, my knack of such yard from the academy, now the team and awards, and I bet he ain't shaking tray. Um, see if she can be a Dean team, really. I don't know, I bet my reckon and she'll go for you. Gail Powell, she's been in, could they read the king right? And Dorothy Gavloy Nord, who's a cup on in the canal. But what are you wearing to have the big camp wheel? And our team. Dan Peter at Bunted. I'm on a good one, City. Roy Shoyman. Bell Brech in Disco at a Kairas. Or Shoyman Irbaneri. Well, a great week here. I've been a Kenya market. I know. I'm Beth. I'm a good one. I'm a good one. I'm a good one. That's the ad. I'm a bad one. I'm a brave girl. I'm a team. I'm a good one. You wouldn't try another class here. Our Benigan, ma'am, and you wouldn't. Brown. Every day the Kairas. Our team Kenta and Paratoy. He got a cup on Nessa and a ton more. Her nod. Oh, Louisianis. Oh, she bought it. Run in. Fedron Ashford at a Kai. Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney go up and cut a brief steward. Yeah, the stead for getting a little. Come, Riva. Ac i achlasu'r arall. Mae nhw'n cael profiadau bywyd, hefyd. Dim jyst ni sy'n cael profiadau bywyd. Mae nhw'n cael cwrdd y cledwyr Ashford. Cysan i'r cwpan. I ddathlu tymor llwyddiannus. Mae ni'n paratoi am yr... yr eiliad fawr, yr act ola, fel petai, o'r pnawn dramatig yma. I'm on scripty, I'm Ben, but can you draw no all in team at somewhere? Be either scripty or come on, okay? Thank you, Dylan. So there we are. We've seen the um, presentation to the under 19s, but look at Connors Key. This is at their request. They wanted to form the guard of honour for the only team to have defeated them this, this uh, season. And uh, it's them that bring on the champions to receive the trophy. And uh, Katie, simple 12 wins out of 12 games. Flawless, a flawless season. And to be able to celebrate this with these supporters in front of your family and friends, these are the moments you'll look back on your career and think, I was part of something special. The... Yep, and you could see the delight amongst the under-19s when they were being presented with their medals. But this really has been the aim. And to say again, there will be a playoff. They're not yet in the main ad run. Won today, by the way, by um, Cardiff. Her goal just out of vision there, Rosie Hills, has been the difference between these two sides today. Steve Williams, who is the chair of the uh, FA of Wales, and uh, Rihanna Roberts making the presentations. But uh, there will be a playoff that will be at Newtown. It's the winner of that that will join the Cardiffs and the Swansea's. And. Um, all dependent upon having a license but these girls know if they win if there is a license then it's the decision of the owners of this club that they will become semi-professionals which will no doubt be a major major contribution yeah and it just shows the ambition of this club to step up into the Premier League, it is a big step, and going semi-professional will help them a great deal. Recruitment will be massive if they're going to be successful in that league. 
But now it's just about enjoying this moment, enjoying, like I say, a flawless season in front of all of these fans. Incredible. They could not have done more. They've only conceded six goals throughout the entire season. The trophy presentation by Gail Powell, chair of the league, and uh, the winners of the General North Championship for 2023 are Wrexham Football Club. The fairy tale continues. What the men can achieve, so can the women. It's been a remarkable celebration of women's football. This was to be a showcase, and simply put, it has been. Thanks to those two remarkable men who understand Wrexham. They've understood the people. They recognize the ambition, and they have fallen in love with the dream. And the champions celebrate with the bubbles. Wrexham win the Gennaro North Championship for this season. At some point in Poya, Seren Hollywood, a lot of Terry Bernino, that's been seven hand points to win. See, now we've got a cup and it's to get a bottle of champagne. Came in, big Alex, all kind of champagne. What a ray all like you attached, you're getting. Yeah, do you have Poya? Of the individual and higher Poya now, also being Juana. That's if you need to come down, you roll champagne, drop straight in there, and I'll roll back the So, yeah. Do we tell you about the final in Kagal's Cup one? Probably at now with an amlock in the new heaven, Manon Moy. Hi, I'm going to have a cavern. How many more drops now, Maniki John? Rosie, I have to be honest with you, even from where I'm standing, it's very hard not to get emotional. What's it like this afternoon for you? What incredible scenes here. I mean, I can't express it for you. It's really crazy. It's a, it's a surreal experience because look around us. Like, we play on this, we play on a pitch day in. Like, the the guys are right here. here. What an incredible, incredible experience. So I was just saying to Rosie, it's difficult for me not to feel emotional, so I can't imagine how she's feeling. What an achievement. I mean, I, I can't even imagine how you're feeling. I what, I, I, I finish up here, too. And yeah, I don't think that uh, I was really hit me that I've just scored the winning goal at the race course with 9,000 people watching. Got Rob and Ryan stood next to me. It's incredible. I can't actually express it, but it hit yeah, us. I don't know. It hit us yeah. pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I left it quite late, but I like to keep suspense, and that's what I do to score goals. That's what I've done. Scored a goal, scored the winner. Obviously, congrats to da um, DJ scoring the first goal for us, but yeah, absolutely crazy, amazing. It is the stuff that dreams are made of, and I think for any little girls watching today, parents, tell your daughter is that football is for them. I had three little girls watching today, my own, and they're really inspired. They love you and they love what you're doing yeah. and they're so proud of you like we are. This is just incredible. It is. Yeah. I think one thing, Robert, saw that's really come across today is so much pride, so much passion in this town and it's you guys that have kind of brought that to the forefront and highlighted it. It was always here anyway. I was speaking to some fans that have come over from Canada. It was always here anyway, but you've given it a boost. It was it was always here and it and it's thanks to people like to, like Rosie. I mean that's and, and the entire team. All we did was shine a little spotlight, but you see that the town showed up. Yeah. Did you ever imagine any of you, this is a question for all three of you, that you'd have one of these type of moments? Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. 9,000 people watching me. Incredible. I'm just playing at the stadium. Like, this is a, one of the world's like <laughs> biggest, longest running stadium. And now here I am. It's crazy. I know. I can't imagine that. It's just happened to us. It won't sit in until later on. But we just won and we scored 12 out of 12 league games. It's incredible. I think it's the first time any team's done that. So, yeah, no, I'm so proud of the whole team.
And it's always nice to get on the score sheet, Rosie. And of course, it's always nice to tally up my top goal and scoring record and to make it the winning goal as well. And with uh, only a little bit of time left in the game, it was amazing. Well, Gary, you two are also covered in champagne. Probably need to go and dry off, eh? Probably, right. I don't think they're going to let me on the plane. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep drinking some champagne. Yeah. This is just an Good amazing idea. day. That sounds like the perfect solution on a Sunday afternoon. Go for it. Listen, we're so grateful to you for coming to speak to us. Rosie, just all of you having an amazing day. And like I say, tell your daughters, football's for them. Yeah, of course. But football is for girls just as much as it is for boys. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Really thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm Elias. Eutra Sori. And on my high heavens, I'll show you fun. Rosie Hughes, Seren, a shy, and Hano, a ser, goya, and Evans. Maniki, we cross it on it, but I don't know what to say, Nicky. Lily, I'm Brown and Huckle, the Marvatha Beth, Marie, when I'm breathing with you, I'm done about Berg Bach. Oh, do you go all? So, do you want to have this plan, silly, we're not, no, what are you going to do with all that? Go mind to fans. Nothing to get an event, it's not a minute dollar, it's not nothing you need a job. I think I'm going to have like Rob and Ryan and so on. But yeah, I'm really unbraided with the wheel. Now, can you have him in how they can fight now, man? I think they can have a game because they're like, yeah, now that's hard. I'm going to say that there's nothing to battle at the end of the dollar. So I'm going to just hold on top. I'm going to say that there's nothing to fight at the end of the day. I'm going to say that I'm going to entertain your crowd, my kid. Yeah, I'm going to say that I'm going to need the NH12 out of 12. It's about us now and there. So, good night, I'll need. Only my no one he cannot play off. We hit on Grace for since it's about us. But they're calm now, Lily. Yeah, so then he got a hot game and had been team in a day. Um, we got a game huge. My my Brisbane Ferry team died. So now that we've got a party now, heavy man, we've got season on her goal. At some point, then he then he just got a had to focus on our game now. So I could be the guy guy that have it now. It was prime. Okay, just like the back of the destiny, it's your unhappy. We've seen Cruz Rogan press the stadium and share it with Bob Martha Babel. Taylor with the daughter out of Canada, at Dubai, will you hear? My hand is real. Oh, my hand is real. So, I've been going to the bar a lot of far, um, boy. I'm going to tell you Philadelphia, the daughter that gave, oh, you play for the women's team? And we're like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go in and show you Bob Dima. So, we're just a bit of a bar, I'm going to come to the Philadelphia Pill Droids, I'm going to tell you what I want, Danny Cal, Torvo, Bill, and now Mealy and Gans. Now Mealy and Gans. So it doesn't happen every day, and now I'm a hundred deal he eat Ryan and Rob. So I'm a probably dream and do that. He gave me the he kept knocking me out. I'm on her goal. The other girl on the team, I'm so the runner to so hard every day. Does he enjoy her that little life? Up the town. Up the town and weird. But we called the rush a match every day. Bit of time we've got for that touch. My medal now. I'm a game nice. I never been chance so well. And hello, one. Cofaner, Miloy and Gwilio, my medal I'm a game there, sir. Yeah, my just in Dangos, a bit, my new kid, an Aishai, um, see you guys, see you guys, um, he didn't know him, the Mandy gone, um, my fantastic, he pal bear, he go out here, none of my query, when him, the Mandy gone, my new Aishai moi, I done a bear game, and Edwin Britton Ferry, done a bit, my new Dangos, my new Aishai bend in my theatre, so I've been the new Paratoy, just right now, so I, my mount your game now. I go beat you and let me mount your um at John Leeds wedding. Yeah, trash. But when we got to your mark, heavy, I've done not on Benning. And you got selfie, I don't know. Yeah, just don't have it. Then I'll can kid that's a deal camera company. I'm Bren Hound, at a Kairas, I'm Eliad, a team from Bader and Benthig and Gunstan Dathley, Team America, Ten Campwell, Free Vadran, a Goggle, Shang Khan again, Dean City, Kipio, a Free Vadran, and Hamri Hevid, Heddy, Abby the Dunyon, and Dathley, Van Hen, Ara Kairas, Mount Couple, or it's not set. Can I have any compass? My Indrubet and Bossip. So not Hannes at all, but you wouldn't have Red Bodma, I'll vow the Der Vignette sind in Ganetabarnur. Dag mein Messer in Perfeit. Screwfix Sprint. Ein